it. I've got so many goodies. I've also got a little treasure. Oh, she knows I'm talking about her. It is Royal Designer with the inspiration today, the ever so wonderful, super talented Sarah Alvin. How Hello. are you? I'm very well, thank you. Good. Last time I saw you was the birthday show. Yes. Recovered? I have. What did, you get, about. what did you get up to afterwards? Uh, we went to do a little bit more uh, sightseeing in Kinnelworth and went to watch a rugby match. Um, of course. In a local hostelry. Oh. Um, it was a must win match for us, so we had to watch it on the TV. But it was good, we won. <laughs> oh, I love that. Yeah. So that was the rest of our day. And then the following day, we drove back home. Fab. So you had a nice weekend then? Yes, definitely. So you are going to be showing us two of your beautiful pieces today. I Give am. us a little bit of an idea as to what to expect for your first Ooh, one. Ooh, the first one. Um, lots of bling. Bling? bling? Yeah, bling fantastic. Lots of sparkle, lots of uh, flashes of. Uh, warm metals coming through really nice kit i'm Beautiful. sold i'm sold already <laughs> and in fact in wonderful sarah's kit we've got some new things in the kit as well that you haven't seen before it's your chance to get them right now you're gonna have to get them in the kit and i'll tell you this for nothing on the kits today you've got over 10 pound saving on some of them so you've got some serious treats coming up so producer pip is back off his holidays he's got a bit of a tan but he says it's wind burn because there was no sun. Um, where are we starting off, Produce Pip? Let's start in box number. Ooh. This, no, it's not that one. <laughs> Which one do you mean? <laughs> Mike's laughing because he can hear what I can hear. He goes, do this box. Actually, don't do that one. Let's do another one. Yes, it is. Serious quality Labradorite as well. Brand spanking new strand. I told you this was coming up. Brand spanking new strand. And you know what? Why not start off with it now? This is 90 carats of your Labradorite. Serious quality. Look at the Labrador essence on this. If you're new to us or perhaps you're just getting to know a little bit more about gemstones, when we talk about labradorescence, we're talking about the shiller, the sheen that bursts across the top of the surface. So if we're looking at this one, can you see you've got the blues that cascade into the gold, cascades into the silvers as well. This shiller is totally and absolutely natural. This is a totally natural gemstone. We haven't added anything to this. This is completely created by Mother Nature. And very long story short, one of the reasons it has that shiller is due to the way that this is built up by Mother Nature. So there's lots of fibrous um, crystals internally within this. And as the light cascades over these, it has um, almost a skimming stone effect, I always think of it as. And as opposed to the light just entering the gemstone and then bouncing back out, as you might get with, say, you know, beautiful, I don't know, topaz or uh, heliodor or something like that. With the light here, what happens is because there's all these fibrous, it skims like a stone. And that's why you get this beautiful Labrador essence. It has been voted your favorite gemstone, well, do you make a favorite gemstone two years running now? At the end of each year, we have a little award ceremony and you get to vote on your favorite things, the goodies you've seen, the best deals you've had. Uh, your favorite gemstones is one that's always kind of sought after. And this has won two years now, two years in the row. Why do you think this is so popular, Sarah? Um, I think it's because it's got a, a real magic about it. It's got a real sort of quality that draws you in. Yeah. And I love the fact that it's both masculine and feminine. Um, it appeals to both the young and old at heart as well. Um, and it's just, it's got magic encapsulated inside it. And I just think that people see that and really want to own a little piece of that magic. I completely agree with this. If you want to be one of the first people to own this strand of magic, you can see the quality. I'll tell you the truth. Normally, I'm used to seeing this quality in cab form only, not in faceted top drill. So this is a true treat for you today. Let's have your opening price for a premier strand today. You're paying just £11.95 for all of this quality. That is a true experience exception it really really is what a beautiful mixture you're getting here all for 11.95 please don't forget these are genuine gemstones 
Please remember that these are absolutely brought to you by Mother Nature. All we've done with this strand is shape it, add a little bit of faceting, drilled a hole into it and gave it a quick polish basically. And then we've brought it to you. The fact that you can work with genuine gemstones for such a wonderful price is truly something not to be missed, I believe. I think genuine gemstones, you can of course tell me a little bit more, genuine gemstones, if you're selling your pieces or giving your pieces, what difference do you think it makes to be able to say they are genuine? Um, I think, well, people have a great respect for a genuine gemstone, they understand where it's come from, they understand a little bit about the process of getting that gemstone to them, from the earth to themselves. But it's the prestige of owning a genuine gemstone, I think, mm -hmm. as well. But you can say so much about them as well. I always put a little card in with my jewellery, giving a little bit of history about possibly the gemstone or maybe some of the legends that are associated to that gemstone. So people have got that little bit of interest as well. And gemstones are known to be really hard wearing and precious, so that people are really keen to get that into their collection. Mm. We can all go out there and, and, and get synthetics, but to own a genuine gemstone, is really special and it was one of those things that I saved up for I can really remember saving up really hard to go buy my first amethyst ring um, and you know I just really wanted it yes I could have bought a synthetic but it wasn't the same as owning a genuine gemstone and that's what I really wanted to own is that prestige it definitely has got that prestige about it, 100%. And it is, it, it kind of, I always think it makes, you know, if you're spending so much time putting all this work and effort and imagination into your pieces, the fact that you can then add genuine gemstones to that just does something a little bit special, mm -hmm. doesn't it? You're going to have to get your hands on it whilst you can, though. TNRU20 is the code, and it's just £11.95 for you today. Genuinely, to see this quality outside of a cab is something special, and it can be yours today if you check out your baskets as soon as possible. Possible? Is that a bit French, then? What's that? Possible? Oh. Possible? What's that? Have I just made that up? Probably. Is it? You think that's a word? French, maybe. I don't know. Where are we going? You're in the French what, Pete? Uh, Matt, uh, Mike, what are you in the French? What did Ben say? You're in the French... You are in a, a, a French shirt. What? That's Italy. A gondola. You know, that's what I think of. Okay. All right. Venetian. Oh, I've been to Venice. Have you been to Venice? I've been to Venice. It's beautiful. Oh my oh, goodness. Yeah. Have you? Did you go with a lady friend, Mike? No, this is much long ago. I went with my parents. You went with your parents? Oh, you <laughs> did you? It was very nice. What an unusual <laughs> present to buy yourself as a child, but okay. I wasn't a child. Oh, how old were you? You were 18, oh, all right then. Oh, Mike, Mike's my lovely cameraman that we've got today. He's swapped over shift size for us today. I have got something that is, you're gonna go nuts over. Sorry, that was naff. Peanut shaped. <laughs> Get it? Nuts over. Yeah. Oh, these are your peanuts. Double trouble coral. Honestly, these are nut shape, and the price is a little bit nutty as well. I'm going to be totally honest with you. Now, let's get the coral situation out there if you are new to us. Our coral is all completely and absolutely ethically sourced. We can guarantee you that. Because essentially the way we collect them, we don't go into any seas, we don't dredge up any marine life, we don't, you know, disrupt any octopi or octopi is that the name for a singular octopus a group of octopus Pus a an octopi a shoal of octopus <laughs> um we go in uh, to high regions actually where there millennia ago there was water and there no longer is so it's up into the mountains that we actually go to correct, collect our coral a lot of the time in areas uh, where there is no longer water so this coral has you know died out many 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 thousands thousands of years ago so we do not disrupt anything to get this it is completely ethically sourced and we think because it is ethically sourced and because it is such a beautiful selection I personally adore bringing you coral because it's relatively new to us I remember when I started here we didn't do coral at all if very often um, 
and now we're doing it much more regularly but as far as coral goes from when I've brought this to you this is by far your most popular shape of coral and I think there's a couple of reasons to that number one it's almost reminiscent of the coral growth itself in a sense isn't it when it's all together but if I show you them separately you'll be able to see why they're called peanuts they're this little peanut shape individually but if you have a look when I bunch them together they all just interlink beautifully. So you can use them separately, but you can interlink them in this way. And it's giving that really unusual, almost um, undulating, almost scientific approach, doesn't it? It does. It just it evokes a lot of imagination of uh, natural things, but also something quite modern. It does, and it gives you an effect of having done um, something like uh, maybe a square stitch or a peyote with your beads but definitely. without having to do all the hard work of, of putting them together in that, that sort of pattern. Definitely. Which is great and I love the texture you get from these beads, they're brilliant. It is a wonderful mix of mm. texture isn't it? The shape is peanuts and the price is peanuts as well. <laughs> your price for two strands of coral today is not £11.90. It should be but designer inspiration is double trouble. We're giving you a bundle discount today for just eight pounds and 95 pence, you're gonna get both of these strands of wonderful coral. What do you think of that price? That's an amazing Isn't price. It? You get so much on there as well. So, you know, cause they do bunch up like that. You've got so many individual beads. So if you do want to use them separately, you know, they're gonna go an awful long way, but even bunched up like that, you've got two strands there for that price, which is no. amazing. Isn't it? It is really special. And I love the feel of coral. It, mm. It's it's not as cold as um, as a gemstone, as a, a normal gemstone, because uh, it has, a, but it has a lot lightness and a warmth about it it's really lovely against the skin and it's really soft textured against the skin and this this tone suits so or every, every skin tone I can think of this is going to suit people because it's got that natural beautiful quality and I think if you were to team it up with pearls it would just look amazing I was thinking pearls mm -hmm. I've got some stunning pearls coming up for you later on really like jaw dropping mouth watering yeah. I loved the idea of these with pearls. And do you know what else I was thinking then, just as I'm looking at them? Because they kind of interlink with each other, almost in this cog formation in mm -hmm. a sense, you're getting more. You are. Really, aren't you? Oh yes, definitely. Because if you, if you were to space them out as if they were individual beads, you wouldn't have got them all on there. So no. If you pounds. were to do them end to end maybe, mm. as well, you'd get half the amount you're getting now, wouldn't you? Yeah. You truly would. Oh no, 10 left. Well nine left now I'm into single figures eight pounds and 95 pence IQ GC 24 loads of double buyers hello everyone out there I hope you're having a really lovely afternoon do you know what it's raining outside here I know so barbecue I've just realized why are we talking about barbecues <laughs> Wednesday's meant to be sunny is it 18 degrees Oh, all right, I'm on board for that barbecue, definitely. <laughs> Five of these left in stock for you. Peanuts, for peanuts, just £8.95. Double trouble, got to move on now. Um, I've got four left, but there's two of you with it in your baskets and there are people on the phone, so please do check out because otherwise you'll miss out. Ooh, okay. Oh, mm -hmm. you're going to do this to me straight away. Oh my gosh, I'm so in love. Oh my goodness. Okay, we probably already know what gemstone this is going to be. This is by far my favorite strand of opal, hands down. Now, before we look at this, before we look, I just need to give you a heads up. I already know that you're not gonna be able to see what I can see now. A couple of reasons. The lights in here are said to light the set, the guest design and myself, the backdrop and everything else not necessarily the gemstone. There's loads of different layers of um, glass in the screen, in the camera, in the screen. So it, every single piece of that kind of blocks out a little bit of color, which means that genuinely, when you see this, if you even see a tiny bit of opalescence in this, that goes to show its quality. I can see opalescence Oh no, I've already got it out into this light and it's... Do mm. it you know when you had it cupped in your hands? I know, please just it. take a look and fall in love. Please camera, work with me here, work with me. Whew, take a breath. No. You can see some, 
Can you see that green? Can you see the can you see that beautiful green there? This is flecked with pin fire opalescence. When we talk about pin fire, what we're talking about is essentially what it is, is due to the way the opal itself is built up. Oh, look at the slide. You're getting more of it on this slide that you can see now. You're still not getting as much as you will when you get it home. Please get this home to totally adore it. When you can see the little flecks, the little speckles, um, we call those pinheads of opalescence, and that's essentially due to the buildup of the opal. So, opal, the structure of it, if you imagine there's lots of spheres, it's essentially to do with the way that the gemstone is formed. So it's um, formed when silicon um, oxide is um, hydrated. It basically turns into this gel-like substance, and it creates these little spheres. Now, with normal gemstones, when there's layers, like on the labradorite I was talking about before, you'll either get the skim or you'll get the light enter but with opal because it's these spheres when the light enters it kind of has to bounce up and down to be able to get through and that's why you get these these pinheads of opalescence please believe me can you see the amount you're getting on that slide now that is more much closer to what you'll get in person but when you get this home in real light, please look at this in natural light to fully, fully appreciate it. Let's get your price in. You know the quality. You know this is Ethiopian. You know that this is my favourite opal, which for someone who adores opal as much as I do and, you know, falls in love with opal every time she sees it, for me to say that this is my favourite, I hope that's given you an idea of how mesmerising this strand is in person. The price today is just £46.95. Genuinely? I've only got six left, five left. And genuinely, I can promise you, if I was at home now, I would buy two. Genuinely. But I wouldn't be able to, because there's only two left. Please get this home, and do you know what? Please, next time I'm on, next time you get this home, please message me in and tell me exactly how much you love it. If I could just do a whole show with this opal, I'd be really chuffed. I really, really would. This is outstanding. Oh, someone's messaged in, have they? About this one, because I know I've done this before. Becky, I have two of those strands, and they are beyond phenomenal. And I'm fussy. The colour plate is amazing. Michelle, thank you so much for sending that in from Great Manchester. It is absolutely exceptional. And do you know what? I'm fussy as well when it comes to opal. I really, really am. 10 carats worth of this Ethiopian. If you are going to get the last one, you are going to be so lucky. I've got, oh no. Well, I've got two people with it in the baskets. How many people are on the phone? Three people on the phone, two people in baskets. This is fastest finger first. I would say if you're in the Isle of Man right now, or if you're a new telephone bidder that I can see on my screen with it in your basket, whoever checks out first will win this. But it might have gone. It's gone to Carol in Kent. Congratulations, everyone who's purchased this. Genuinely, for me, oh my goodness, I've just rolled it up in my hands again and seen how gorgeous it is. Best purchase of the day, possibly. Let's set a challenge. Oh, I don't want to put this down. I have to. How do you feel about a challenge? Ooh. Yes, yes. Okay. Well, we gave you your sample of the challenge. I can see you cutting it off now. Yes. Give us a little bit of a summary. What are you thinking initially? What comes to mind when you look at this challenge? You know, it just re reminds me of beaches. Yeah? Just absolute sort of walking along, barefoot in the sand. Oh. Beautiful sea. Maybe a cocktail brought to you by a handsome waiter. Oh, Sarah, I am sold, absolutely. <laughs> this is uh, the mother load. Oh, who named that? Pip. I, don't say me, I did not name that. You're such a liar, Pip. <laughs> the mother load. This is your beautiful mother of pearl. You've got three strands in here. Really different, every single one of them. 
So you've got your puffy squares, which are 10 mil, your rice beads, which are 10 by seven, and your shell ovals, which are 20 by 10. I've just got to pick out some of this stunning shell effect on some of these for you. Let me lay those down carefully. Have a look at this. When we talk about mother of pearl, you've probably got these ideas in your mind of colors, what you're thinking. Blues, pinks, whites. Take a little look. It's so beautiful. This is gonna be even more impactful in the flesh, it truly is, but can you see you've got the pinks, you've got the blues in there as well. Ooh, isn't that mesmerizing? The ovals themselves are the flat ovals, so they're gonna be really, really workable. I love the idea of those, uh, just a really easy, wearable, stretchy, perhaps, do you think? Oh, definitely, I mean, you can do some really sort of simple pieces of jewellery or you can go really elaborate so you can change them into flowers you can use them as wings you can do all sorts of those ovals so. because of the shape yeah, they're so brilliant. useful aren't they yeah. i need to show you these rice beads as well i've never seen rice beads in mother of pearl before isn't that just gorgeous as the light catches and cascades around these it's just bringing you something different every time isn't it what do you think about what would you think of doing with this rice bead shape um, I'm thinking about maybe a, some sort of ladder weave with it, maybe using it with the, um, the diamond shaped ones, some sort of ladder weave perhaps, I'm quite sure yet. I have to say I adore this diamond yeah. shape. Yes. Aren't they wonderful? And very rare I would think of Mother as Pearl as being able to create a masculine piece, but with these I could completely see this as a little pair of cufflinks. Oh gosh yes. You know with a dinner jacket, mm. maybe a nice evening out. What would you think of doing with these ones? Um, well, I'm thinking about combining those with the rice beads, but I'm not sure because I think they make, make beautiful earrings as well. The shape of them just cascading with lots of chain, they're going to make beautiful earrings. So I'm not quite sure, but we'll see how we go with them. You can have a little play with these, yeah. can't you? I adore the diamonds because they're just so simple to interlink, aren't they? Now, the mother load, you've got three strands of this mother of pearl here. Very, not very often at all that we'll bring you such a wide selection of mother of pearl. So it's wonderful that you can get a, a massive amount here in a bundle. Now, what happens when we've got a bundle? By a bundle, if you are new to us, what I mean is a group of, you know, two or more strands of gemstones. Because you're buying essentially in bulk, because you've got three strands, like when you know you go and shop, say somewhere like Costco or some of the larger areas where you go and buy your big bulks um, goods. Maybe if you do your big shop, that sort of thing there, you can get discount. Well, that's what we do with bundles like this. Should be price and would be price. Should be twelve pounds and eighty-five pence. Now we like to do price comparisons against ourselves. So already that is a Quacking price. If you bought these separately, that's how much it would be. But today you're getting it for just nine pounds and ninety-five pence today. Under a tenner for three strands that are gonna work with everything. It's your white, it's your base colour. I can't think of anything that doesn't go with white, especially when it's got this beautiful little elegant glow, this glisten internally with the pink and with those blues as well. £9.95. pence. Price. Discuss. Amazing. <laughs> Caught me on the hop. Amazing. <laughs> amazing. <laughs> but it is an amazing price. You've got three strands there and then, you know, they are substantial strands. You've got lots of beads and they're not filled out. There's, they're packed right up to the rafters on those strands and you know you've got so much you can do and you don't have to use them all in one go you don't have to use them all in one piece they're going to be great as your neutral base for all your colored gemstones so you might have you know you might have a strand that you've been looking at and thinking it's a beautiful strand but I don't want to use it all in one go I'd like something to go with it mm. which is really neutral but it's going to bring something to, to the design yeah these are Although they're neutral, they bring lots of life and light into your designs. They've got a colour tone of their own, even though they're a neutral, they bring out those sorts of pinks and blues come out in them. So you've got lots you can work with there. I like the idea of that because yeah. it's got all of those different things that you can play with and that you can highlight. Yes, and it, it's also going to pick up on colours from around it. So Mother of Pearl typically does pick up a little bit on the colours around it. So if you put that with, say, a pink gemstone or whatever, yep. Oh, that's lovely. 
See, I think that's really hot summer. Oh, it really is. That to I'm me. on a beach. I've got my factor on. Yeah, definitely. And you can just see that that pop of colour with it. You might not want to use that strand all on its own because it is quite bright. And if yeah. you're not that sort of person who wants to carry away a, a really bright piece of jewellery, by bringing in that mother of pearl bundle, you're, you're being able to use that bright colour, but yeah. not in an overpowering way. I really love that. I love that as an idea. I've had loads of messages in saying we can't buy online. Try again right now. Apparently, was there some sort of strange crash? Sort of. Did a glitch get in? Wreck It Ralph's little. Um, what's her name on Wreck It Ralph? The glitch. Oh, I've no idea. I've not seen Penelope. That. Per Penelope is it? Is it? Penelope the glitch got in for a moment. Have another go. Phone lines. Do not forget you can call us. Free phone number. Oh eight hundred six double four six double five is your number. If it's still not working on the website. Do not fear, because we'll bring this to you in a little bit. It is the challenge, so we will be recapping about quarter to five. You know that it's worth it. There is loads of you um, buying on the phone. There's absolutely loads of this. Will we have some left? How many did I start with? We've got a good quantity of this, so we should still have some left at quarter to two, but if you, at quarter to five, but if you want to be totally, totally sure if you still cannot get on the web bids, 0800 644 655, although apparently we have got a few web bids through right now, so hopefully it is back up and running. Thank you very much for joining me this afternoon. I hope everyone had a wonderful weekend, and you're ready. It's Monday. Monday, the mother load. Start as you mean to go on. 9,095 pence today. VH GC94. It's your code. Use it. Triple buyers on this one. Now, I brought you that opal. You know I've got that five bundle whammy of sapphire coming up. I didn't tell you about this one that I'm going to show you now. Purely because. I like to be a bit mischievous. Um, no, because we weren't totally sure whether or not we'd be able to bring it to you. Because it's such a beautiful selection, we wanted to double double check that we had enough to go around and we wanted to double double check we were able to give you a cracking deal on this. We've been able to do both, but you've still got to be quick. breathe <laughs> rubies emerald sapphires oh my that is beautiful 35 carats worth of three of the big ones graduated faceted drops these are by no mean measly in size three by two to six by three mil on these. Could you imagine this as a cluster ring? Do you know what, this is so Dior jewelry right now. Have you had a little look? If you're online at the moment, why not have a little look at Dior's jewelry? Uh, the jewelry line for the, this that they've got actually, I think it's on their homepage. If you go on at the moment, if you have a little look on their homepage, you'll be able to see that probably about 90% of their um, highest sellers, their collections at the moment, have got mixtures of these three in one. There, there's none that are just, you know, purely blue stones or purely yellow. There is a mixture of absolutely all of them together. It's this really multicolored, highly faceted vibe that Dior are working with. And this is just a little nod to that really, isn't it? It truly, truly is. Look at this, one of the rarest colors of sapphire in the world. You've got this gorgeous archetypal coloring of the beautiful emerald. And then real power pops of that beautiful red within the ruby. You've also got your stereotypical high fashion blue sapphire in here as well. Now, when um, Kate Middleton got given her beautiful sapphire blue wedding ring, the sales of blue sapphire skyrocketed by, I think it was 300 percent. And then recently, I, I told you, didn't I, uh, a couple of weeks ago when she was in New Zealand with Wills, um, he bought her as an anniversary present a Cartier watch that had a blue sapphire in it again. And I've noticed when I mentioned that a week or so ago, I noticed that in the papers, it's just Kate and her watch, Kate and her watch everywhere, 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 which again means that it's more than likely 
the popularity is going to rise again for another time because let's face it she is a style icon at, at the moment and she is you know everything that you see her wearing whatever makeup is you see it in all the magazines you see it in all the papers you see it on all the tv adverts it's set to rise in popularity again so why not get your hands on it today because not only are you going to be getting a massive selection of this look at all those blue sapphires you're getting you're also going to be getting your yellow sapphire, ruby and emerald. And let's face it, when you've got three exquisite, highly sought after gemstones such as this in a truly wonderful wearable formation with the faceted drops, they're never going to go out of style really, are they? Your price is important and honestly, it's a total treat. For you today, just £54.95 for this massive amount of sapphire, emerald and ruby today. What do you think of this strand? Sorry to stop you in your tracks. I had way more than that before. I got told earlier on that when, we were, when I said to you earlier on we had to find out whether or not we had enough for everyone and whether or not we could do a cracking price. I had earlier on, I got told that if we had more than 50 then we would be able to bring it to you just about. So I know that we started off with over 50 but I've only got 10 of these left now. That's in stock, by the way. That's not just on the show. Because if you're new to us or, you know, perhaps you aren't quite sure how this works, um, what happens is your producer will sort out for you exactly what's going in, in the show and we'll sort that out weeks and weeks in advance and we'll work together at putting some great deals in there, lots of variety for lots of different people. And what happens is sometimes we might have eight on the show, but another producer, you know, have already booked uh, another 20 or 30 of them for two weeks down the road. Eight is we're the last lot to get it. Our team right here today is the last group to get this strand. So I've got seven left in the building. That's it. What do you think of this beautiful strand? It's just amazing. It's got so much colour and variety on one strand, but the absolute elegance, the high-end appeal of this strand to me, even if you're just buying to make jewellery for yourself, where could you go out on the high street and buy anything similar for that price whether it be set in sterling silver or any precious material you know any precious metal you're not going to be able to go out and get that quantity that quality that variety anywhere you're so truly not to make it for yourself this is a strand as a jewelry maker i would buy for myself i would keep it for myself i would be making beautiful pieces of jewelry from it gifting those away to my family and friends for those really special birthdays, you know, those once every 10 year type birthdays yeah. and anniversaries. That's what I would be keeping this strand for because it just has idea. everything that I'm as a jewellery maker are looking for on a yeah. strand of gems. It's just beautiful. It really, really does. And what I would say as well is if maybe you're newish to jewellery making or you haven't quite treated yourself yet to these high-end gemstones, because you've got three gemstones the big three on one strand that's essentially saving you having to buy three individual strands and even if you manage to get them from us for an amazing price say you're lucky enough to get a selection you know a strand per one for let's be nice let's say 30 pounds if you're getting it in a bundle like the sapphire bundle i've got coming up for you you're going to get these strands coming in less than 30 pounds per strand even if you're lucky enough to do that to get this variety you'd have to buy three strands. So that'd be, even if you were getting it in a crazy deal, that'd be 30, 60, 70, 80, 90 pounds, wouldn't it? Yeah. To be able to get this variety. Do you know what I would love as well? I'm just thinking for something like golden wedding anniversary or something, uh, what about a little sapphire, the golden sapphire cluster ring? I think that's a really cute idea. I love it with the blue. I think that just looks so exceptional doesn't it? It does, just looks amazing. 95 wire, what yeah. about the ruby as well? I love the ruby, I would definitely cluster up 
cluster up in a little, always a little, almost a beady bead. I've only got four left, but I've got people on the phone waiting for this. Three left. This is your last chance to purchase right here, right now. DIY, do it yourself. Why? <laughs> 96 is your code today. If you're watching me in the evening, I am repeated overnight. Welcome, future viewers. Um, <laughs> then you might still have a chance. Do just ring in with that code. I have got three left. I doubt you will, but it's worth a try. No. Say that to me again. Mother of Pearl should now be available to purchase online. There was a little bit of an issue with it. Can I have the code on that, my love? Yes, of course. Uh, if you did miss out on this, yeah, we'll pop it back on the screen just now. I will recap this later, but we've had loads of messages in saying for some reason they couldn't purchase it online, but we've been in touch with IT and they have sorted it out now. This was for this. You had a discount on these three strands today. You should be able to purchase them again. £9.95. V H. GC94, there's absolutely loads of you getting your hands on this today. It's versatile, it's beautiful, and the wed bids are in. Welcome everyone, we're sorry about that issue, we're not totally sure what it is, but the wonderful IT team have sorted it out. £9.95, stay where you are for that. Where am I heading to, my love? Designer inspiration. Oof, you got a treat, didn't you, Ooh, with these ones? I certainly did. I have got a hefty amount of strands and some new pieces in here for you. Mm. What? Emerald? In a bundle? In a kit? Pearls? And garnet. <laughs> Wowzers. This is a boutique collection. This is a serious treat for you. I've got to be honest, I didn't actually realise this had garnet in it. I knew that we had the emerald, I knew we had the pearls, but I didn't realise there was garnet in there as well. Which has shocked me even more because I know the price of this. I know the price of this kit. Let's have a little look. Let's go through these one at a time, shall we? I adore these slab shapes. These are your emerald slabs. Very, very pretty. How pretty. 50 carat, 55 carats worth we've got of these. Emerald, of course. We've had so many high-end strands for you today, haven't we? I know. What an unusual shape to get your emeralds in, though. How are they to work with? Oh, very easy. Yeah, they're lovely to work with. I mean, you can do so much with these. You can either, you know, separate them out and use them as buttons if you want to, so you actually have them sideways on. Um, but I just kept them in, in the little um, stacks together, which I thought were beautiful, and you can separate them out with your little spacer beads if you want to. But they're just really easy to use, and they go through, um, a 0.6 wire goes through them, so they're really easy to use on your head pins and eye pins as well. Of course, we know emerald. When we think of emerald, we're talking about Cleopatra. We're talking mm. about Egypt. We're talking about high end. And this has got that kind of Egyptian feel to it, doesn't it? It's got this really ornate effect. It's got this deep richness in green. It's such a superior strand. But wait, hold on. Oh. Have a look at these pearls. How, how spectacularly do these work together? You've got these beautiful build of neck. Let's be honest, they almost look like perfect rounds, don't they? They're not on the screen in front of me, it says 11 by 10, but to me, they do almost to the eye look like perfect rounds. They've got this superb, gorgeous, such an exceptional pearl essence to them. They've got glints of silver, glints of green, blue, yellow, pinks, all just whizzing around in there, which not only matches perfectly with the gorgeous emerald, but also when you see it next to this garnet strand, it's just breathtaking. <laughs> It truly is, I need you to have a closer look at this strand of garnet because seriously, it is 
just sumptuous, isn't it? It's juicy, it's very berry, it's got that really deep um, burgundy tone to it. It's exceptional. Let me see this against my neckline. Because I'm just looking at the length of this. This is seriously lengthy. Let me see this touching at the back. That is a long strand of garnet, isn't it? It is, and I used it in lots of different places and it just went on and on and on. Wow. Now, this has got, how many carrots have I got in this? 48 in here, and it has got a slight, very delicate um, coating on it, which gives this a metallic luster, mm, it does. doesn't it? Yeah, it does. It really just, it brings it to life. It just gives it lots of shine and sparkle and luster. It's just lovely. I love the rondelle shape as well. I think that just it works so well with mm -hmm. fasting, doesn't it? Really, really does. You've got in here those three strands of gemstones, but I've got extras for you in here. I've got your ball chain, which has been ever so popular. This is a relatively new treat for us as well. Wow, that's high shine gold, isn't it? It's lovely. Isn't it beautiful? It is. Now, I've noticed that you haven't just used this as a as a talk have you no no i've used it um i've used it as a bracelet base and i've used it in the neckline piece as well so it's just it's really really easy to use it's really lovely you'll get a proper look at exactly how um lovely lovely sarah's used this meters worth of your chain in a moment but i told you there's something exciting coming and it's something new for you today it's lovely in designer inspirations so that are only are we able to give you inspiration we're able to give you some quacking bargains of course but we're also able to bring you something new that you wouldn't be able to get your hands on otherwise it's our way of saying a thank you for watching us thank you for sticking with us and thank you very much for sending in all your ideas and um, all the goodies that you want we listen to you and we've brought in some beautiful new pieces today. Isn't that tricky to hold in the tweezers? <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that? Wow, a comeback. These are, when I first looked at them, when I looked at a, a photograph of them earlier, I actually thought they were indented, but they're not, are they? No. The high shine sections yes. are leaping out. Yes, they're raised, aren't they? They're raised, that's the word. <laughs> leaping out. <laughs> you, I love these ones. You've got that, um, how would we describe this? Pringle shape? Kind of a... a concave? Concave queen yes. yeah you've also got these squares i've got to admit i adore the way you work with these squares you've kind of grouped these together i did and they just look <laughs> fab how great do these go could you imagine these as a button on the top of there as well yeah that'd be an amazing cufflink i know wouldn't they just be amazing wouldn't it with the emerald because they're the same shape and my personal favorite look at these your little mm. teardrop shapes Oh, actually, you've got two different teardrop shapes, haven't you? You have the one that's more like a leaf. You've got the kind of yin-yang mm. shape, and then you've got one that's almost leaf-like, that's straight up and down, haven't you? Yes. How are these to work with? Oh, they're just fun. They're so easy to use. You can use them as charms. You can use them as accents. You can put them on the bottom of earrings if you want to, just to catch the light. Oh, I love uh, that, just as a pair of earrings. Yeah, they're just amazing. They're really easy to use. You just need to pop a jump ring through them or a piece of wire just to make your own um, eye pin. And they're really, really easy to use. And um, the normal jump rings go through them very easily. Because they are sizable, actually, yeah. aren't they? The, the holes in them. I've just realised you've got a double holes on the circles as well. Yes, yes, got those as well. Like little buttons. Those they ones. are like little buttons, aren't yeah. they? And these are great connectors. They're really easy to use. You know, if you wanted to connect two gemstones together with eye pins and a pair of earrings and have that as a, as a real accent in the middle of a drop or use them in your bracelets and things like that. They're just beautiful. They've kind of got that almost charm bracelet feel to them, mm. haven't they? Yeah, I mean, you could use those. Put a jump ring at the top, attach it to your charm bracelet and then put your gemstone on the bottom of it as a charm. I really like that idea. Yeah. You're getting five of each of these, so I'm just trying to make them look neat and tidy. There we go. So if we have a look at all of these, you've got your squares, five of those. You've got your leaf shapes. 
you've got your beautiful concave coins, you've got your buttons with the double drill hole in there, and you've got the teardrops, almost the yin and yang shape as well. So let's reiterate, you're getting those beautiful gold pieces which match beautifully with your gold meters worth of your ball chain. You've also got your emeralds, that stunning lengthy strand of pearls, and this just magnificent and lengthy strand of garnet as well. Should be price. £42.75. Now, please remember, you've got emerald, massive pearls, garnet, and brand new findings here. You're going to love this. £28.95. What do you think of that price? I don't believe that price. That's amazing. I was expecting it to be much, much higher than that one. Um, that is amazing and you can you know really go to town with these new little spaces the charms that you can really make impact jewelry and I haven't held back with them no. so you know that's the whole nature of these bundles they're beautiful to work with and when you get everything that matches so well with each other you can then just let your imagination run wild with you you really can can't yeah. you it's unlucky for some, but it's not for you. £13.80 saving you're making on this today. It's absolutely stunning and genuinely, when you have a look at what the wonderful Sarah has created, you are going to be blown away. It's really important that you're getting yourself on the phone lines quickly today because we had a really busy morning. I've already sold out of about three things, actually, haven't I, with that opal and the, the other... Uh, the, triple strand as well it's been really busy so it's really important that you get your hands on this as soon as you can please don't wait till the end of the hour until the end of this demo because we really don't want you to miss out i'm happy to say i've got decent quantity on this but although i have said that it's always better to be safe than sorry and i would oh no i've now got less than 50. wait oh no that's why they've just put my call screen up <laughs> hello everybody Yes. Okay, I've got less than 50 now, um, probably about 10 or 11 in baskets, and apparently, how many on the phone? Seven on the phone at the moment, and people are buying two of this. So, £28.95, pence, £13.85 pence saving on this today. It's a real, real treat, That's and nice. I love the pieces you have made. Oh, thank you. You've got here, uh, how would, where would you imagine someone wearing this piece? Oh, you know, I was thinking just, you know, if you've got just a little black dress that you just want to zhuzh up, I mean, zhuzh. really, you know, just go for it, you know, wear this with that, or, I mean, I can see people maybe wearing this a day at the races, you know, cocktails with the girls, you know, just that. a really, you know, if you've got a really simple black top, you know, really scooped, naked black top, and you're just going out, and you just don't want to overdress, but you can overdress with your jewellery instead. I really adore that. And it's just got so much impact. But I, I would just, you know, I, I'd love wearing that any time of the day. But it is a real sort of blingy evening piece as well. It's got it a really lot of impact. Is, isn't it? Yeah, it's really, really high impact. Actually, I would think about perhaps using some of these, maybe as a headpiece, as a matcher. Yeah, you could do. I mean, certainly with the, with the ball chain as well. You know, have that running down, down your down palms, the centre, down the parting with a, with a, a hair, clip, um, hair clip at the back across the front here and have a couple of drops coming down the front and then it'd have all the charms hanging off that would look beautiful yeah it would look really yeah. spectacular i adore this interwoven piece as well the way yeah. you've worked the garnet into there it just it lent itself beautifully to just accentuating those beautiful pearls and it just the way it crisscrosses beautifully and because they're rondelles they're catching lots of light they're bringing lots of life to the piece and then you get in the um, reflective quality from the pearls just really it just all works so beautifully together. Mm, they really do. And finally, your bracelet. Yes. I love that drop detail. Okay. It's not quite a charm bracelet. It's not, no. But <laughs> it's still got those charm aspects of it. And because each of the pearls and the charms are not attached to the ball chain, they just move around your wrist as well. So you've got all that movement. They just, they move, all of them. They do. Yeah, so I left it like that because I wanted them to move when you're wearing it, to have that movement, that feeling. because. 
my jewellery, I like to have a play factor with it, a little bit of the necklace makes a beautiful noise. I've had it on. It makes the most amazing noise when you wear it. It's amazing. But also the ball chain in the necklace moves. So you can choose where that ball chain goes. You can either have it where it's sat now or you can bring the bottom part lower. So it all moves around. So I've left that play factor in there as well. Oh, that's great. So you could just alter it. You can have a bit of yeah. fun with it. Yes, yes. Ladies and gentlemen, you're going to have to be quick. I'm putting a foot in the last chance saloon. <laughs> I'm not quite at the bar yet. It's Monday, it's a bit early, but um, I have, I'm heading close to 30-ish on this left, so please do treat yourself because, let's face it, emerald, massive pearls, beautiful garnet, brand new findings and ball chain with close to £14 saving. It's better to get it now. Be safe rather than sorry and not only will you get your hands on all of these treats you're going to get some wonderful inspiration from the <laughs> lovely sarah herself so where are we going to be starting with this piece we're going to start with the far neckline piece mm -hmm. with the crisscross and um i've already prepared some of it so i'll just take a look at that and unfortunately this is done on monofilament so please bear with me because it, it is really tricky to show it on tv but it's worth it because you get that beautiful effect mm -hmm. by using it and i know a lot of people are scared of using monofilament they don't quite know how to work with it um, or what to do with it so it's great to sort of do a demo even though it's really tricky to see okay so what I've done, I've started off, is I've took one of um, the fine head pins that you can get in your findings kits, the gold um, findings pack, findings pack, and I've just used some little spacer beads, if I hold that up, can you see, and I've just literally on, used the emerald and some little spacer beads and just made a little wrapped loop at the bottom there. I see. And onto my monofilament at the bottom there. I've added to either side five of the garnet and crossed over in one of the large pearls. Okay. So that's all I've done there. So you've gone through the pearls twice? I've gone through from either side. So from if I pull side. that out, you can see. I can see. There yeah. you go. So I've gone through from either side and just pulled that up like that. Okay. And then what we're going to do to create the rest of it is we're going to just do a little tiny piece of ladder weave, um, or if you want to call it right angle weave, different names. And what I've done is to either side of the original pearl, I have um, added another pearl and a fourth one to create my diamond and I'm going to cross my monofilament over. Now at home you'll be able to take all the time in the world with your monofilament and you'll be able to, if you want to coat the ends with a bit of permanent marker so you can see the ends of your monofilament, I would suggest working in good daylight, if you haven't got good daylight, a good bright light okay. and work on a dark surface and it's a lot easier to work with then. If you've Very got a good black tip. surface or um, you know something dark, like I use a dark cushion. I have a, like a denim cushion that I use when I'm using monofilament because it works better. That's a good tip. So I've got my first diamond on there, so I've pulled my monofilament through that, that fourth pearl, so I've got my first diamond, and I'm just going to repeat that and create another one on the top. So it's two to one side of your monofilament, and then one to the other, and it's a really easy just to get these, di these diamonds in there with your pearls and you do need a good long length of monofilament because this is actually going to work right into your neckline this piece of monofilament it's going to do all the crosses and work into your neckline so, so how much about did you take about probably just over a meter okay better to have more than less because you can't really Definitely. add can no, you you can't um, so it's better to have more and I've just done the wrong one Oh, sorry, I was, <laughs> That's I me was talking. guessing to you. That's um, if you have any questions, by the way, <laughs> apart from just mine, uh, do feel free to message us in. All you have to do is text us. 60777 is your text number. Start your text with the word JM Studio. Anything you might like to ask, whether it be about jewellery making or just something you've always wanted to ask the lovely, <laughs> lovely Sarah. For example, favourite TV programme? Um, CSI's. CSI Miami, CSI. Really? Yeah. Oh, you yeah. strike me as the type. Either that or, um, what's it, um, Bookham Dano, what's it, my, um, what's it call it? Hawaii Five-O? Oh, Hawaii Five-O. All those, all those sorts of programmes, all the sort of crimey programmes, love them. The only problem with those is you have to pay attention you throughout. Do. You do, because they're a bit, they've got a bit of a sort of undercurrent in them, a lot yeah. of them, sort of a bit of a, a subplot. Yes, and you only have to miss one thing and you're gone. That's why I always have them on record, because if I fall asleep, I just rewind them again. 
<laughs> Could I fall asleep? Good. I didn't want to say that, but you did. Yeah. So do message us in 60 triple seven start your text with JM Studio. And don't worry, even if you are new and you think it's a silly question, everyone's probably going to know the answer. It's all right. Don't worry about it. Not everyone will. So do feel free to text yeah. us in. Okay. So what I've done is I've created my diamond and I'm just using a bead stopper. If you've got these at home, just on one of my pieces of monofilament, just to stop this moving. Um, I know we did have them on the day show a few weeks ago. So if you've got those, brilliant if not just just keep it flat on the board or use um, maybe a bulldog clip or something like mm -hmm. that um, and then what I need to do is to either side of this monofilament so I need to add 10 of the garnet now hopefully this will work and I'll get these on there we go so what I'm doing is I've got five on there and what I'm going to do is I'll show you a quick way to get these onto your monofilament so if you take as many as you can carry in your fingers so I need five like that, between your finger and thumb. So you're doing them all together? Pinching them between my finger and thumb. If I turn my finger and thumb over, can you see yeah, they're, see. they're in there? Yeah. And I'm pinching Twinkling them. away. Yeah, pinching them in a line and taking them off. Yeah. So they're still in there. And then I, what I'm going to do is bring my monofilament and t replace the monofilament to where the beading thread was. Because you've taken them and you're not twiddling with them or anything, they're staying they're in straight line, Straight on. They? There we go. If they do fall off, the best thing is to just pick it up on your finger like that and yeah. then just do it. So that's the easiest way. And then Good that tip. 10 needs to cross over the front of my pearls and go through. So I'm basically making a cross pattern. So I'm going to come, it, the thread at the moment is coming out of the right hand side. So I'm taking it across and bringing it down to the next pearl and taking it in from the left hand side. She says, trying to do this without lifting it up too much. Oh. And so home. the hole in these pearls must be pretty good because you've gone through a couple yeah, of these it's twice it's really so far. substantial. So let me just That's good. Find, fiddle this around again. There we go. If I pick it up, it might be a bit easier for me to see. So go back through that. Yeah, you can get, I think I got about four strands through, maybe more of the monofilament. So the pearls are quite substantial. It's not playing today now. There we go. That's it. There we go. And just make sure you don't tie yourself in a knot. So just work on the flat if you find it easier. I try not to lift my pieces up too much. So that's got the, one of those across the middle there. And we're going to do exactly the same on the top and um, on the bottom. So what I'm going to do for speed, because I don't want to see me just adding 10 lots of beads and 10 lots of beads and 10 lots of beads. So I'm just going to take my thread back through where it needs to be. So if you imagine we've just actually done those. So imagine 10. you've threaded on those 10 Yes, garnet. we've got a 10 on there. Or we'll cross through. So it'll just come across like that. And then do the same with this side. So the garnet would be on there. Yeah, the garnet would be on there. And we'd be doing exactly the same on here. So we'd be crossing over with our 10 garnet coming down in from the opposite side of this pearl. Like that. Oh. Really is fiddly with the monofilament. It doesn't help under these lights actually, it does it? It really, really does not. There we go. Come on you. It really doesn't want to go today. Talk nicely to it. <laughs> Come on monofilament. Sometimes if you twist the bead as well, you'll get it through. Let's just tighten that wrap up again. I'll tell you what, we'll come down this way. Just for demo purposes. Okie we'll pokey, can't we? We'll do it down this way. Five of you with it in baskets. Um, do check it out. You know I don't name and shame, but I'll say Staffordshire. Staffordshire's just messed, just popped it out of the baskets as I said that. Thank you very much, Anne Marie. <laughs> um, Somerset, no, Nottinghamshire. Uh, I thought I was going to say Notting, Nottinghamshire. What do you think I was going to say? Normandy. <laughs> oh, Norway, no. Nottinghamshire, um, Somerset. And the two new telephone bidders, please do check out your baskets because I'm in my last chance saloon right now. Really important question. Apparently. Mm -hmm. do, 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 do. Sarah. Yes. So who is your favourite CSI detective? Horatio? Yeah. Mac Taylor? Or 
Grism. Ooh. I haven't come across that one. Loving the show. Kits are to die for. Thank you very much, oh. Sandra. Good question. I don't know who that last one is. You know, it's got to be between Grissom and, um, yeah. I think Grissom, actually. How come? Because he likes bugs. He's really weird. Yeah, he likes bugs. And he yeah, but you said he likes bugs and then that makes him quite strange. Yeah. You saying it in that way makes you seem quite strange well, then as I well. Am quite weird anyway. So. <laughs> and that's why we love you so much. Because he likes bugs. Yeah, he I does. I don't think I've seen him before. Yeah, he does all this, is it ent entomology, where they work out, you know, if a fly's laid an egg on something, that how long it was that that person's been there and... Yeah. Oh no, yeah. CSI is not for me. <laughs> you don't get that in Corrie. <laughs> no. <laughs> right, okay, so I've got my two threads coming right back down through the bottom pearl again now. Um, and I, you'd imagine I've got my crisscrosses on there. Yes, our imagination is imagination going. Imagination, good. Right, okay. And what I've done is I've taken another piece of monofilament, and this is going to come through my top pearl up here. And what I've done on there is I have taken four of the garnet a little spacer bead, four more garnet, and I made a little diamond of my pearls. Yeah. And then added five more garnet on there. And this is just gonna be the repeat pattern that we're going to create on the opposite side. And this will allow us to create that sort of uh, decolletage piece. Okay. Uh, my monofilament is gonna go through the top pearl. So that's the third time your monofilament's gone through that in particular pearl. It is. Wow. And they do go. Just sometimes that just, is sizable. Yeah, you sometimes just need to um, give it a bit of a give it a little shimmy. Yeah, a little bit of a help. And if they are a bit small, you can always ream your pearls. But I didn't have to with the other one. But this is a different strand, so it's a bit a bit different. It's not wanting to play. Let's try go through the other side. That's all right. There we go, it's going through. I've got another one with this in their baskets at the moment. Keep checking out, ladies and gentlemen. Check it out. Okay, right. So what I've done, so now I've got that on there and my two threads coming out the bottom. So what we can do is, I'm only going to do one side for you, is on this side, I'm going to add three more of my garnet. So I'm now coming out the bottom of my pearl um, with the original thread. So I'm adding three garnets onto there. Someone sent a message in asking, what gauge of monofilament are you using? I'm using the standard, I think it's 0.35. Is it 0.35, the one you get in standard kits? The one you kits. get in standard kits, yeah. So Good this help. was just out of a, a normal findings pack out of a kit that I'd had recently, this monofilament, so it's nothing different, it's not a special one. Okay, you. you can get extra fine monofilament, which is almost like a, an invisible thread, but I wouldn't suggest using it for jewellery because it's not quite strong enough. Um, with the invisible mending spread, it's not really strong enough. So this is the best one. I use a jewellery quality uh, monofilament, one out of the kits is absolutely the correct stuff. So I've literally just added three garnet, three uh, spacer bead, three more garnet, another spacer bead, and three more garnet. And just drop those all down. And now what I'm going to do is take these through the last pearl on the diamond that we've just added. So if I move that across hold it up. Can you see that? I'm going to go under into that bottom pearl there of the diamond with this strand. Yeah. Yes. Okay. And so that's just going to pick that up. Now pop that through. And you can see that it's starting all to come together now. And then onto here, I can't remember what I added, just I think it was just a load more garnets. So there's so many there, you can just really go to town with these. You can just really go to town. And although they're small, they've got lots and lots of fire and lots and lots of bling. They're seriously impactful, aren't they? They are. Um, uh, and you know what? My director, Ben, actually, I think this needs to point out, had quite a good suggestion earlier. I know. He, su he suggested that these look a little bit like ruby with like, the shiller. Do you know what I thought you know, they were? You know, sometimes you get in ruby. ruby. I did think they were the possibly garnet. ruby. Um, don't let that one run away. We'll put him on there. <laughs> they really do. It's garnet, but it has it. You know when you get that shiller on ruby? Yeah, it's definitely got. Almost that purpley. Real, yes, it's got a real beautiful essence to it. This, this it garnet. Is stunning. And then what I did was just take both of those strands. The ends of your monofilament. The ends of my monofilament through um, a little spacer bead. 
One of those flower ones. One of the flower ones, whatever you've got. I mean, there's so many beautiful spacer beads in all the kits at the moment, and they're all the findings packs. And then what I did was take both through. Now this is where, what you probably want to do at this point is cut your threads so that they're both the same length. And that makes life a lot easier. And don't just do what I do and throw them on the floor. My dining room looks like, um, I don't know what, when I finish making jewellery, I just sweep it all into a corner. <laughs> Like that. <laughs> just throw it all on the floor and sweep it up later. So then I've added one of the pearls, one of the spacer beads, and another one of the pearls. And you just carry on till you end up with a piece that, that's the length that you want, but I did three of these. And you can see that the monofilament's now just about starting to behave itself. But just take your time because it just is one of those things that once you get used to using it, you get better with it. Well, the first time I used monofilament, I, I didn't, didn't, didn't really get on with it very well. But now it's become my friend. It is one of those, as with anything, I suppose. The more you play with it, yeah. the, the better it's going to be, isn't it? That's it. Then what you just want to do at this point is you just need to, to tidy it all up and pull, pull it through, till you get that tightened up. So if I hold that up, can you see? Yeah, that's I one see. side now done. So we'd have the crisscross, and we've got the one side of the decolletage done. I see. And I would just copy that pattern exactly the same on the other side okay. um, to create the other side of the neckline piece. Now a lot of people don't know how to finish off monofilament and there's lots of different ways of doing it and this, okay. is, this is probably, I don't know, maybe the cheatiest way of doing it but it's the way I've done it and it works absolutely perfectly fine. Um, what I've done is I've taken my monofilament I've had a question about crimps. Can I have that question up, please, producer Pippi Longstockings? Yeah. I don't know what that noise is. <laughs> Hello, Marion. Um, can you show how to use half moon crimp beads, please, as I am new to jewellery maker and don't know how to do it. Many thanks. Uh, not a problem at all. We'll show you how to do the crimp section um, in just a second. In yeah. just a second, because we're getting the crimp out now, and then we can talk through yes. the half moon, can't we? We can. So, right, what I just need to do is just tighten all of this up. Okay. So what I've done is I've just put a crimp bead on, and what I'm going to do is just push that up to my pearls and tighten everything up. And I've just squished it. Squidge. Okay. So I've done that. Now that's that side of my design completely locked. Done. But for security's sake, what I always do is do that and then I use a crimp cover first and then I'm going to attach my chain. Because if anything then happens, this is already secure, so nothing's going to fall off or anything and you don't have to worry. Okay. Um, and I also like to make sure that this crimp's really holding. Um, if at home I had um, some clots beads or um, the clamshells got the little holes in them, mm -hmm. I'd use those and I could tie a little knot in my monofilament inside. But this, this technique works absolutely fine. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use one of my little cl um, clamshell beads now. And sometimes they come and they, if you've got the sterling silver ones, they might be closed. Yeah. Um, and to undo them, all you need to do is to put your flat pliers on both sides like that. Yeah. And just give it a little squidge. If it's the sterling silver ones, that will open it up. It'll Brilliant. open that back up for you. Really good tip. Um, and that's really easy to do. And what I do, this is the way I use them. Can you see? I've just put it over my crimp. Yeah. And I put my finger underneath it. And then I've taken the thread and I've pulled it down so I've got a little bit of hold on that so there's nothing moving around. And because these are, are um, a copper based finding, they're a little bit more sturdy than the sterling silver. silver With sterling yeah. silver you hardly need to touch them to close them but these you need a little bit more, um, little bit more pressure on them. And all you do is take your flat nose pliers either side and because I'm doing this away from me, it's a bit tricky, but you just give it a gentle squidge I get them in that way around. And it is you, you squidge the kind of mouth you do. section, don't you? you as do. opposed to the whole thing. Because otherwise, I know sometimes okay. in the past you you can f sort of flatten them yeah. if so you, you go get too far. Almost a complete circle there. I see, yeah. Yeah. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach my chain from my neckline piece, which I've pre cut. And what I do with my neckline piece is I always make this part first and I hold it up to my neck. And I know it seems a bit of a crazy way of measuring it, but I always hold it up to my neckline like that. And then I put my finger on either side of my decolletage as to where it's reaching. Okay. And it kind of leaves like a physical memory. I so when you take your fingers away, you can still feel it. 
where it's where it's go. been and then I can measure my chain around the back of my neckline so that I know it's where I want it to sit on my neckline. That's clever. Um, but I also quite often put extender chains on the back, so if you are selling this on, you've got that extender. Just in case. Just in case. So I've pre-measured my chain. What I'm gonna do is just take a little, another crimp bead over my monofilament, over both pieces. You probably can still feel your fingers where you've put them. Yeah, I can actually. Yeah, it just leaves that memory there. It's, it's very odd. Perhaps because um, I poked too hard as well, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> So I've taken the crimp bead and it's on there and then I'm just going to take the chain and take both ends through the chain as well and then come back through my crimp bead and with the monofilament this will allow you to create just the same as if you were um, doing it with beading thread really. Create a little loop for all your chain to hang on there because you've got that previous crimp there it makes it really secure. Just put your round nose pliers in there and just slide it up. Just pull on the round nose pliers. Yeah. And that will just get that up to your crimp. Crimp that off. And then another crimp cover on there. And that's your neckline piece finished on that one. And then you just add your clasp on in a normal way with a jump ring. And that'll be your neckline piece finished for that one. How easy peasy very easy is that? It's just about, and I suppose you can create any shapes you want using yeah, this yeah. technique. Yeah, of course you can. Can I just ask you something? Ooh. Would you suggest doing one side and then the other, or would you suggest doing a bit of one side and then a bit of the other and then another bit and then another Do bit? Do you know, having done this this way now, yeah. I would um, do one half first and then do the other do half. Do the other half, okay. Um, because I did it, I did both halves before I finished it off and I didn't want to move it because of it being on, you know, it was just sat loose for a while. I until I got the crimp beads on, then I'm happy. Then you're happy. I can put it away until I can put the chain on another time. But until those crimp beads are on, I'm, I don't like to leave my beaded project unless I've got my bead stoppers on. Wonderful. I don't like to leave them. So that's how we do that one. And on to demo number two. On to number two. Oh, Let's yeah. squeeze a question in. Yeah. Whilst you're getting prepped for your second one. Hello everyone, this is from Nikki. Hi all. I tried Kumihimo for the first time <laughs> today. Um, I've made it too long for a bracelet yeah. and wanted to add a chain to make it into a necklace. Yes. Not sure how. Nikki, have you had fun with it? <laughs> Love I that. love, I've got this idea of Nikki just loving it so much that she got totally carried away yeah. and it's just too much for a, a bracelet now but she yeah. doesn't want to, you know, it's a first piece, That's she it. wants to make it into a necklace piece yeah, now. Yeah, definitely. Um, what, I, what you can do is you can either, if you do want to keep it as a bracelet, you can take a piece of uh, monofilament and tie off the end of your kumihimo, so go tie it in a knot, go round a few times and then tie another knot um, and then you'll create a point where you can actually cut your braid. Don't, so if you, um, if you do two, you can cut in the middle of them, so you keep your two I braids see. separate. But if you want to add a chain, the easiest way is if you've got the wax Y cone, is to make a Y cone um, link. Mm -hmm. Tie off the end of your work with your monofilament the same way, cut it flat, take your round nose pliers, and in the Kumihimo braid, you can wee whittle your round nose pliers through the braid, you can add a little piece of wire to attach your Kumihimo, um, your wax Y comb. comb. Yep. Put a bead on the top, make a wrapped loop, add your chain, and you're away. Or you could use yeah, your, if you've got the Kumihimo ends, yeah. the specially designed ends, glue those on, then add your chain on, and then add a clasp on. Um, there's so many different ways, though. I mean, you could um, bind the end with some ribbon, sew some ribbon over the end of it, and create a little flower or a bow on the end just to hide that working and add your chain onto that. Really? Lots of different ways. Oh, Nikki, I hope that helped. Do have a go and send in a picture once you finish, please. <laughs> Got another one while she's setting up yeah. there. Oh, I forgot to tell you. Reminds me in a minute. <laughs> Can I ask Sarah from Dorothy um, what she would use the sunstone rondelles? Thanks, Dorothy in the West Midlands. Hope this one gets read out. It did, Dorothy. Um, what would you use sunstone rondelles? What would you do with them? Oh, sunstone rondelles. I would um, probably use them with some gold wire, um, keep it simple, probably make a wrapped loop, um, rosary style, neckline piece, really keep it simple, possibly some pearls in there. Um, but you could, oh, sunstone rondelles, beautiful bracelets and earrings. I just think, you know, you could wire wrap those rondelles into a beautiful cuff style bracelet as well and really catch the light. Um, just all sorts of different things because they're rondelles you know anything you can use a rondelle for you can use um, the sunstone for um, but just 
really, or maybe just make um, pieces with um, eye pins and then add them onto chain, but have them running that way with the chain top and bottom as well. The wrong really girls. nice, yeah. really good idea. Um, I have got a bit of a fun bundle for you here now, guys. Just while Sarah is getting herself ready and raring for our next little demo, I've got serious stacks and stacks of goodies in here for you. I've got your wooden shapes, Cinderella. You shall go to the ball, doesn't it? Doesn't it look a bit like those? See what I mean? The pumpkins. You're with me. You're with me. Thanks. <laughs> Good, Director Ben. At least you are, my love. Uh, these are your wood white carved rondelles. 15 mil on these, and they've got a 5 mil hole. You're going to be getting around 45 pieces on these. Serious amount. The size of the hole there. Huge. You could get Kumimo through there, couldn't you? Oh, yeah, definitely. It's busy. You've also got in here chain. Loads of chain. Wow. Two different types of chain. I love this double up chain. Me, many, 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 loads of this we've got. Um, this is your aluminium train. It's your double diamond link, 20 by 12. You've got a meter's worth. I knew you'd had a meter's worth. That's a serious amount. You've also got these twisted, almost flattened ovals as well here. Beautiful, almost old gold, gold flash this is, and it is got it has got the e-coating on it as well, so you don't have to be so worried if you're giving this away for people with sensitive skin that you're not gonna have as much of a problem with this beautiful strand. You've got in here more wooden pieces, which, oh my goodness, I have to show you these. They've got a flat base and then a curved dome top. I've not seen this before. And then look at the hole in there. <laughs> Director Ben suggests filling these with caramel because they look like chocolate. They do. Apparently. They do a bit, don't they? They do, but they're so smooth and they're just going to be really nice if you want a big look to your jewellery but you want it to keep it lightweight. It's perfect and very, for that, isn't very it? great for masculine jewellery too. They are beautiful for that. You've got your orange coral rondelles as well. These are the plain rondelles, 6 by 4 mil. You've got your trapezoid shape as well of the this Wait, hang on. What is this? Blue howlite. Oh, it's that beautiful pop of blue we've been getting of the howlite. What a treat this is. 10 mil, 110 carats worth there. And then you've got these, which if you loved that animal print they had on this morning, producer Dion would fall in love with this, wouldn't she? Sure Look would. at these. These are, they've almost got a leopard print. Blue neon leopard print. And then they've got the hole in the center of these beautiful heart shapes. You've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven strands in here all in all. And that's including the two chains with the meters worth. Your price, boho chic, should be. 32 pounds and 65 pence, but not today. It's designer inspiration. I'm gonna give you a real cracking deal. You're getting so much in here that it would only be fair to crash the price, wouldn't it? You're getting these today for not 33, but for just 24 pounds and 95 pence. This is to build up your stash. This is to get a bit of a boho chic feel. This is gonna create wearable pieces, perfect for the beach, perfect for picnics, perfect for your festivals. It's just gonna go with so much stuff. It truly, mm. truly is. 24 pounds and 95 pence. Hello, everyone. There is a little bit of something for everyone in here today. There truly is genuine gemstones, coral, beautiful wood, chain, just a bit of something for everyone and a price for most as well, 24 pounds and 95 pence. GSGC16. Right, okay. I just quickly stranded this garnet because I, I, I didn't want to waste any, so I literally just kept them on the strand from this morning. I didn't really want to put them on to anything else. I just wanted to keep them beautiful. Good plan. So, all I've done, right, is to make this neckline piece, there's lots of little sections we need to do. Um, we'll talk you through all of the little sections. The first one is we're going to make the little flower at the side there. This is the section that I was talking yes. about earlier. I love that. We're going to make that little that little section there. Uh, what I need is just a piece of, of wire. Um, this is 0.6 gold coloured wire. And it doesn't really matter. It's whatever you've got in your, in your stash. And you need um, about just over half a metre. Okay. Um, and what I'm going to do 
is I'm just going to add one of the squares onto the centre of my wire and I'm just going to push my fingers so it's just the wires brought together. Mm -hmm. That's the first one done. Then what I'm going to do is take one of the squares on one side of my wire, take my wire through in the opposite direction and pull those two together. And just take your time, it will go down. Just keep taking your time, taking your time. And what you want is for them to just cross a little bit. And this is why you want to do it with wire, isn't it? It so is. So that it kind of locks it. Yeah. You can see that those just yeah. started to cross just that little bit. And that's what I want. And then I'm going to do exactly the same thing with the next one. They're a bit springy, I'm afraid. So I'll try and keep my hands as still as I can. No problem. <laughs> and pull it down again. You don't have to be, you know, a great wire worker to do this or anything. It's, it's just patience of pulling those two wires. And just bringing them down together. Yeah. Whilst you're adding those yeah. on, that's what I wanted to tell you. Oh, yeah. Last time we were on together, yes. and do you remember, Claire, lovely lady Claire, sent in a message and she said, I'm going to a party tonight. Yes. I need something quick to make. Yes. And I asked to send a picture in. Well, yes. she did. I'm going to have to show you upstairs later. I forgot to bring it down. But you know you did that quick demo piece. Did she put an owl bead on the bottom of it? Yes, did I you did see it? I saw it. I saw it, <gasps> oh yes. Oh, my goodness. What I that did fab. reply to her as well. Yeah, absolutely fab. And she even got asked where, where she got it from several times while she was yeah. out. Apparently, she had a few offers on it as well. She had about six or seven people ask about it, didn't she? Yeah, so it just proves that sometimes quick and easy is definitely the way to go. Yeah, quick and easy. We've, it, she sent it on our Facebook. Facebook page. Have a little look for it, Pip. See yeah. if we can get it up. I should have brought it down with me. I forgot. Yeah. Um, it was. Yeah. It was. I think it was just the weekend of the birthday weekend. Yeah. I think, I think it was, was the birthday there. weekend, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, so literally, the last one's just going on now. I'm just pulling it down again. Pulling it down. Pulling it down. And then what you need to do is just make sure you squidge each one so the wires are flat in between. I see. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring. What my, my ends together, mm -hmm. I take the wire that's on this side through the first square and the wire that's on that side through the first square in the opposite direction, like that. And then again, you're just pulling those together, same as you did before, you bring them into a circle, like that. Okay. Okay. And then you want, probably want to play around with that until you get it to the way you want it to be how you're happy with them sitting. And then what I did to anchor this was, um, I just did a little bit of freehand wire work on the top of it. And all I did was bring the wire that's on the back through the center. So it's not gone through any of the holes, it's just that center section. Yeah, it's it? just going through, through the hole in the center and pulling it around. And then all I did was I took one of the wires and brought it around the other one couple of times like that so it's just freehand and then this one you take it around and under that one a couple of times and literally you just end up with a little swirl appearing on the top and again if I turn that over can you see those little swirls just appear yeah, I see and you're just going to carry on doing that until you've got something that you're happy with on okay. the top um, so you can have that as ornate as you like, yeah. or as kind of casual yeah, as you like. You can, and I'm just going to anchor those quickly so you can I won't go all the way around. And all I did with the tails was I cut them off about a centimetre, mm, two centimetres, three centimetres from the end. Yeah, an inch or so. Just give them a little swirl in, and then you can hide these swirls underneath all the rest of your wire work. Little swirls on either side with your flat pliers just bring them in and then when you get to the center if you actually tuck them underneath the other wire work and then they'll stay in there and they won't catch on anything brilliant okay like that and then what you can do with the back is because I've got somewhere to anchor on the back so that's the back of my piece is what I can do is I can just take a piece of wire and create a little anchor point on the back to attach all my threads to. Clever. So what I'll do. This is with the 0.6 again. It is. Um, because um, 
I'm going to be attaching everything with jump rings. I can use little wrapped loops. So just create a little wrapped loop, like so, on one end. Cut off my excess, like that. Again, that would be heading for the dining room floor. <laughs> mm. And then I'm just going to run it underneath through um, the parts underneath there, I'm pulling it so it's hiding underneath my flower. You see, so there's nothing sticking out, that little loop's just there. Mm -hmm. And then what I would do is just create another little wrapped loop on the bottom of this one, just at the back, like that. So I've got another anchor point, and that's that piece finished. It's ready to go. So you've got two anchor points on there, and at home you make it a little bit better than me and get it right in the centre, but mm. it'll, it'll work. So that's my one piece done. Okay. Then I've got lots of other pieces that I'm now going to start attaching. And what I've done is I've taken a couple of pieces of chain. Now this is your own personal preference on what you do with this, okay, because this is going to be your piece of jewellery. Mm -hmm. So you make it as blingy as you want or as simple as you like. You might not want to use all the charms, you want to use a whole pack of charms on one necklace. And I've done is I've created lots of little sections. Okay. Um, and you can use any leftover pieces of chain you might have in your findings box, all of those sorts of things you can use for this. And then also what I've done is I'm going to use a piece of this ball chain as well. Which comes in the kit, which is currently the at the bottom of your screen, almost £14 you were saving on that. So I think it was £13.85, if I remember correctly, bottom of your screen now. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to start using my jump ring. We're just going to attach all of these onto one side. Okay. And it's really a simple process. If you've got big packs of jump rings like I do, that's great. If not, you get 10 in each findings pack. and. You can make your own if you've got the jump ring finders and uh, jump ring makers and things like that. So all I'm going to do is take my longest piece. So the longest piece obviously going to be the base piece. It is. And I'm just going to close the jump ring onto there. Then I'm going to take another jump ring, open it up, put it onto that one. And this just makes it fall nicely if you put the jump rings on this side. It just If you try and attach all of the strands together, it bunches up and doesn't sit flat. So now I've got two jump rings on there, onto this third one. I'm going to add just another one. Speaking of jump rings, mm. oh, can you keep a secret? <sighs> don't know about that. Go on then, I'll try. Well, the other week, yes. I was speaking to Debbie B. And oh, yes. she was saying to me, I haven't got any other chain mails planned coming up. Mm. I know I need to know what direction to go in. I've been really busy with the birthday show and everything, yeah. so I haven't got any more planned. So this was last week. She's got another one planned. Yeah. Oh, she kept that a secret. She has, hasn't she? <sighs> we'll have to have words with Mrs. B. Uh, uh, yeah. It's very soon. Ooh, how soon? Could be this week. <sighs> Could be this weekend. Wow. To set the, set the record for that one. I know, it's Sunday. Wow. It's Sunday. So there we go. So that's got all of that side attached, like that. And then you can choose to attach all of this side as well. And what I did with this side is I actually just attached them all onto just a couple of jump rings. So this side's got more of a drop, and this side is a little bit more bunched up together. I see, because it's bringing it into that flower, isn't it? It is, because I want, I want all these to sort of sit underneath the flower, so I didn't want the jump rings to be too obvious. Almost looks like a very lavish, lavish vine or stem just springing from that beautiful it flower, does, doesn't, doesn't it? It does, doesn't it? So then we go, just one more jump ring, I'm going to attach the other two strands, and then they're going to be attached to the flower. And we're just going to drop that in there, and that one in there. And the top tip is, when you do this strand, if you put jump rings in between, it sits better. I didn't do it on mine, but I've learned from that experience. So on the one where you've done the little loops, yeah. and you've used the circles with the two holes, if you put little jump rings in between, you get a much better Sit. drop um, really on the neckline. So attach that it gives a bit more movement. To my flower, it does. Okay. So now I have piece that looks like that with my chains and then what I'm going to do with my um, ball chain and if I just show you on this one this ball chain actually moves you see you can move it up and down that's brilliant yeah so that that chain you can either tighten it or pull it down 
so you can choose where you want it to be and to do that what I did was I took my ball chain and can you see the last jump ring at the top here that's attaching I took it through that jump ring yeah like that and then kind of worked out how long I wanted it to be I pulled it there thought about there and then chopped that off and then people think how on earth am I going to attach this to anything because we don't have any sort of findings that's going to attach that what I used was the bottom part of one of the ribbon clasps you can use these to attach the ball chain and it holds it beautifully so all I did was take that put it into the clasp both pieces in it is a little bit fiddly but you'll do it no worries at home there we go. And then, oh, fiddly. <laughs> you won't have hot hands at home either. Or be under these lights. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> and then just bring those together with your flat nose pliers. And then squidge one side. And that holds them in fine. Oh, yeah. Yeah. If I do it with the right hand, that would help. Put more strength in this hand. There we go. And then spin it around. Spin it around. Do it on the other side. Make it flat. They're going And nowhere. that's not going to ruin them at all. No, no, because they've Brilliant. got they've got an internal structure, structure. of their own, so yeah. they're not going to get squashed. And if, like me, you've got left the excess just so you could hold on to it, you can just get rid of those. Snip those off. You might want to leave them. It's a decorative thing. Oh that, yeah. That's going to come up underneath your flower and attach with a jump ring, and then. All I did was take some of the emerald. I can't believe it. Emerald. I thought they were malachite. Do you know? Because I thought I'm not going to get emerald in a kit. There you go. You did. And you just take those, and you can add those wherever you like onto there. You've got your extra charms. If you want to add those on, just literally with a jump ring, add them wherever you want. I would put this onto a bust just to see how it hangs, and then add on all the more charms onto it. Then you just need to add onto the last of your jump rings a bit of a chain, and you're away. And you are well on your way. Create your own piece with your own flair. And it's so elegant, isn't it? It truly, truly is. Thank you so much, Sarah, okay. for showing us this. Give us a little bit of a clue as to what to expect in your second design. Mm, a bit vintage. I it think. is vintage. Yeah, um, very, very statement piece. Um, but also, I've got another one that's a bit more fun as well, a bit more young and. and Going, Hip. going clubbing probably yeah i'd wear it go clubbing. yeah i'd wear it go clubbing yeah definitely yeah. join <laughs> us after this break we won't be clubbing but we'll be making things <laughs> see you after this <laughs>
Please take your burden down to my soil Now we will make yellow flowers for you Welcome, welcome back to Designer Inspiration. Thank you very much for joining me today. My name is Becky and I have just had a delicious sandwich in the break. <laughs> <laughs> How are you all? Now, I'm really, really quickly going to recap over the boho chicness that is boho chicness. Who knows? Um, that is <laughs> this amazing bundle I showed you earlier on. We had a few messages in saying, oh, no, I've missed it. I've missed it. I just caught the end of it. So recap. Wood. Genuine gemstones, chains galore. £24 and 95 pence. Should have been £32.65, I think. So what saving is that then? I haven't got my maths then on today at all. <laughs> of course I don't. It's a Monday. <laughs> Who has their maths head on on a Monday? Actually, saying that, loads of people are doing their exams at the moment. Yeah. How much? £7.70 saving you're making on this today. So, what can you get for that? Bottle of wine, chocolates, dessert at a pub. Seven strands, yeah. So that's you're saving a pound per strand, aren't you? Mm. You've got here all of these goodies. Let's start off at this side. My hands aren't very large today for these today. Like my hands regularly change in size. Um, <laughs> I've got very small hands today. Uh, you've got the meters worth of the double knit chain here. So can you see that you've got the double links in here? Now we have worked this out and what you can do is if you snip them, you can actually get two meters worth of chain out of this if you link them all together in that way. Because you can see it's all doubled up. And it's really nice, I think, when you twist it as well. You always get the kind of double helix effect with that. So meters worth. You've also got these beautiful hearts which have got almost this animal print and then this real neon pop. Now these are shell. So you've got that beautiful cascading of color and you've got the hole in the center, which means you can add a few seed beads, you can add a few drops in there if you completely wish to. Back onto the chain, we've got this really large oval, which has got the flattened out detail. This has got the e coating, which means it's hypoallergenic. So do not worry if you've got slightly sensitive skin, this should not cause you any problems. You've got your totally ethically sourced coral with this beautiful poppy orange. You'll be able to see when you get this home as well, you've got all that natural, um, almost natural engraving from the coral itself in there, which is really beautiful detail. You've got one of our newest strands, that beautiful pop of blue howlite. It's almost got that Maldives tone mm. to it, doesn't it? Maldives C. You've got your wooden pumpkins. That's not their name. That's just what I call them. They are actually called, what are they called? They're not called pumpkins. Carved rondelles. That sounds better than that. Um, <laughs> just me. Um, these are your carved rondelles, 15 mil. They've got a five mil hole, which means you can get so much through them. Macrame, Kumihimo, and very much the same going for these wonderful little wooden chocolate pieces. Ben suggested filling them with caramel. I suggest stranding them possibly onto wire, but that's just me. <laughs> These ones, you're gonna be getting about 40 pieces on this strand and around 45 on this strand. So that's your recap on this wonderful kit. Quacking saving today. It's got something for everyone. £3.56 per strand for everyone, says my lovely producer in my ear. Um, you've got just a real selection of something for everyone here. You've got something that's quite modern. We know that chain's really big in at the moment. You've got the animal print, which is kind of fun, a little bit funky, quite young, I suppose. You've got your big oval-shaped chain, which you can inset polymer into. Um, you know, you can wire up around these, even do maybe a dream catcher type thing. You've got this totally beachy coral strand. You've got this really vibrant, really fun, feminine, but also quite masculine strand of genuine howlite, 110 carat it's worth and then you've got these two strands of really wearable possibly every day but also can be zhuzhed up wood strands as well so a bit of something for everyone it's great to stop up your stash my words got stuck in my own mouth then <laughs> weird 24 pounds and 95 pence that is all of that that you're going to love getting through all of that through the post like an aladdin's cave of gorgeousness speaking of gorgeousness don't forget this is coming up 
sapphire. Five strands of genuine sapphire. This will be coming up really shortly for you. Five strands, these are gonna be working out 30 pounds or less per strand. And you know I don't just mean by 5p, you know that already. And you've got that Sungi and um, Sapphire in there as well, which personally I just absolutely adore, completely natural strand. And Sapphire drops, which is really unusual. But that's coming up for you in a bit. Where are we going, Pippi Longstockings? Producer Pip. This is a new strand, isn't it? Brand new strand. Now, when you think of Tiger's Eye, what shapes are you thinking? Rounds? Possibly barrel shapes. Possibly a barrel yeah. shape. Cabs? Yes. You bet you're not thinking these, are you? No, definitely not. Aren't wow. these truly wonderful? Brand new strand. And for me, a brand new straight shape for this beautiful tiger's eye. Tiger's eye is so stunning. It contains the iron oxide, which is one of the reasons you get this deep, chocolatey, rich colour. And also one of the reasons that Tiger's eye offers you superior chatoyancy. It's got that flash of tiger-like colour running through it as well. Tiger's eye used to be worn as a talisman, um, especially in Roman times, actually. It was worn as a talisman because it was believed that it would scare off your opponents, which is one of the reasons that it's classed as possibly, um, you know, in kind of healing properties of gemstones. People do believe that it gives you strength and courage, which is why they suggest you wear it in interview, going into battle, give you a little bit of strength to yourself. But even if you don't believe in the kind of mystic healing of gemstones, I think you can agree when you have a look at the strong stripes on this there's definitely a bold impactful stripe and sensation of strength to this even just from the gemstone itself 100 carats worth you have here you've got can we just zoom in on this one because this to me is so truly wonderful you've got these caramels you've got burnt umbers you've got the deep chocolatey richness you've got mocha you've got um espresso tones in there as well mahogany stripes on there 100 carats worth of this multicolored tiger's eye now these are your plain slabs let's get your pulling sinks it's a brand new strand i want you to be able to get it as soon as you can your price today for a brand new strand it's just Eight pounds and 95 pence. Now, let's have a little look at this to my neckline because for me, that with a few gold spaces. What do you think of doing with this, Sarah? Because it's an unusual shape, isn't it? It is. Um, they do work beautifully if you keep them in the neckline shape, but they do lend themselves to being sort of um, having other beads in between and using sort of the um, right angle weave in between. We use some smaller um, tiger's eye beads to mm -hmm. sort of create a pendant style maybe with three of those hanging off the bottom of the pendant so you have a rounder shaped pendant I'd like to use those with some leather cord I just think they'd look amazing with some leather cord at um, sort of the dark brown leather cord or suede at um, and just really sort of go for that masculine look as well because yeah. I think they would lend themselves to just having three of those possibly in the centre of a neckline piece and just maybe just a, a wooden spacer bead in between those wooden spacer beads we had in the bundle before they would look amazing with those as well they'd look really mm. good type in as well definitely i'm quite liking these as a headpiece let me just have a look please don't zoom in my hair because my hair's a mess today but oh yeah these are huge at the moment aren't they these yeah. kind of head pieces that we have they at the are. moment eight pounds and 95 pence director ben that's exactly why i love you he does not appreciate forehead zoom in <laughs> thank you good <laughs> no one enjoys it no mine because of my hair my hair always looks really bad when you zoom in because it looks bad, close up. <laughs> XDRU03, welcome everyone who's managing to get themselves their hands on this. It is new to us today and it would be lovely if you could be one of the first people to own it. 8.95 for you today. Let's get going, move on. I've got loads to fit in today. Loads. Remind me the name of this one. Oh yes. Oh yes. <laughs> Just before this comes up, the name of this, I did not name this. <laughs> Producer Pip named this. Enjoy the gemstones first and then ignore the name entirely. <laughs> Have a look at these. Wow. Aren't they beautiful? Mike, 
What's it called, please? Put rocket launcher. Yeah, but come on, you can do it more cool than that. Oh, yeah, okay, I'll be enthusiastic. Go on. Drop it like it's hot. <laughs> Drop it like it's hot. <laughs> you did lose the enthusiasm halfway through. You started off high, but within two words, Crashed. you crashed and burned. Yeah. Mike, I'm afraid on that one. This is, sorry, drop it like it's hot. These are, of course, named after the beautiful shape. They are drops that you have here. Really, really beautiful drops. I've got to say, these work to me extraordinarily together. You've got amethyst. Let me go through these one at a time because I really think you need to fully appreciate each of these. How extraordinary. I've got bursts of green in here and almost hints of yellow, almost an ametrine on some of these. Totally natural, every single one of these strands that I'm about to show you as well. So here with this lovely array, can you see that you've almost got those greens, especially in this kind of region here? You see over here, these green tones. This has got such a richness. You've almost got that Zambian amethyst tone to some of these, haven't you? But then you've got pops, very almost delicate pinks in there. Almost the Rose de France colouring, in a sense, because there has got that warmth to it, hasn't it? And can you see the colour split on these? Now, of course, it's not ametrine. This is described as amethyst, but it has got that splitting colour. It's not just me, is it? It's got elements of other tones in there. Can it you has. see that as well, Sarah? Yeah, it has. It's got those sort of, um, yeah, it's almost got the yellows coming through, hasn't it? Mm, really has. So you've got 65 carats worth on that strand. I adore it, of course. It's my birthstone. I absolutely adore it. Gemstone of creativity, it's said to be as well. I can genuinely not think of the last time I brought you a strand of cat's eye. I cannot. Remember, 90 carats worth. <gasps> Chitoyancy, look at that there. Cat's eye. Look. Pete, why are you taking my strands, mate? Uh, Pete, come back. You've just taken me strands off that I'm, <laughs> that I'm doing now. <laughs> Pete, you were just too... Come here, Pete. Oh. Say hello this to everyone. You've not said hello today. If you're new uh, to us, this is my lovely man floor manager, Pete. How's, how was your weekend, mate? Huh? How was your weekend? It was good. What'd you do? Good. Uh, just bought some films stuff. Went, went to dinner. Did uh, you? Yeah. Where did you go dinner? Yeah, just, it is a buffet thing. Yeah. Yeah. Was it a date, Pete? Anyway, this is was it a date? No, no. Stop getting so interested in my love life, Becky. Stop getting so interested in my love Ooh. life, Becky. <sighs> Bet his girlfriend's watching now, shaking her head. <laughs> <laughs> this tiger's eye, it's wonderful to be able to bring you this. Tiger's eye, you get this burst of chatoyancy for a couple of reasons. One is the actual structure of the gemstone within its growing formation. So if I just show you, you've got... Say you imagine a topaz, because we know it has beautiful brilliance and the light travels through it so majestically. So if you imagine a topaz growing like this, now the longest axis, uh, axis of the gemstone is called the C1 axis. So in this format, it would be the straight one here. And then you have the shorter axis, which is known as A1 for the first axis. Now with a topaz or, or any other beautiful high brilliance gemstone, they will be at perfect lines to each other, creating a perfect cross. But with cat's eye, it's slightly a kilter. So can you see now the A axis is on the diagonal? And that means that the light has to fight harder to get through the gemstone, which is why when you move it, you get this blast of color that ripples over the surface and internally within the gemstone, which is why you get this cat's eye, almost like the opening and closing of a cat's eye effect. And then finally, that just goes beautifully with this white agate, it's almost got a moonstone appearance. Of course, it's not got the shiller, but it almost does, doesn't it? Because it's very unusual mm. to see white agate in this formation. 
These walnuts are all the way up to 10 by 5 mil or a 33 centimeter strand. All three of these are completely natural. Lengthy strands, just said to you that that agate's 33 centimeters long. It has got a kind of vintage feel, almost um, vintage bridal, springtime vintage bridal feel to this. Drop it like it's hot. Now, Pip, because that name is so naff, can you drop the price like it's hot for me? Should be. 12 pounds and 85 pence. Pete, were you laughing at my joke then? No. He wasn't. How awkward. <laughs> 12 pounds and 85 pence. It's yours today for £8.95 pence for these three strands today. <laughs> drop it like it's hot. That is a serious price drop price for these three really seriously lengthy strands. Look at the length of them. They're beautiful. Mm. What would you do with these? I just want to try them all together. Yeah, definitely, because they all work beautifully together. So true. Um, I would I think about maybe multi-stranding them into a beautiful neckline piece. Just really simple, sort of maybe twisting them together having all three together as a, as, a, as a real mix. Yeah. But then also, I'd want to cluster those together and make almost like sort of flowers sort of formations from the amethyst and just really let them cluster together. Um, oh just really, and because you, you've got that sort of, you've got the green tones coming through there from the cat's eye a little bit, and then you've got the purple, and you've got the white coming through off, off the um, agate there. You've got a real beautiful combination, almost like snowdrops with violets. Beautiful. Just lovely combination. And that's a lovely description. It really has got that feel, doesn't mm. it? And I've got to say, some of these are really, really sizable. Um, on the cat size strand, 14 by 5 mil. So then, by no means measly at all. You've got a real variety in size in all three of these. I do adore them twisted together. I've got double buyers out there today. Hello, lovely double buyers and singular buyers and people just watching. Hello to you all today. Have uh, just feast your eyes on these together, really. Sorry, yes, team. Hello to you as well. My director Ben just went. Hello, hello. Can I have a Oh, P, you were waving so happily then, but you, there you are, there's his hand going, look at him. <laughs> Loving life today, Pete. Hello to everyone out there. Team, I've already said hello to you. You've already had me, well, I've been in since, what, half nine, half ten, eleven. You've had me for hours, team. Fine, you've had me for hours. Don't need to say hello to you lot. You're probably bored of me by now, right? No. <laughs> No, <laughs> said Bob. Thanks, Mike. Uh, hashtag awkward, said producer Pete. Um, eight, eight pounds and ninety-five pence. I just called producer Pit, producer Pete. Um, eight pounds and ninety-five pence for you today. Um, Christine, Julia, Susan, Janet, Tanya, Pauline, Susan, another Susan, Alan, and Serena, Christine. Hey. Who's here? Patty Menorca is back! Hello, Patty Menorca. Mike, are you aware of Patty Menorca? Mike's not normally on the shift side, he's normally on the other shift side. You're not? You haven't heard about her? Patty Menorca's a, a proper celebrity on this side. Honestly. Director Ben, every, every time we see her online, <gasps> Patty York is back! It's like, it's like all of his Christmases comes at once. It really is. £8.95. All your Christmases could come at once with this price slash. See what I did there? Relate it back. <laughs> YQGC39. Drop it like it's hot. Loads of you with this in your baskets. Do check it out. Serious face. It's the big one. Five strands. Serious luxury. The five strands I'm about to show you should be almost 200 pounds. They're not going to be today. You're gonna to be looking closer for five strands, closer to 30 pound per strand. I'm gonna show you them one at a time. I cannot believe 
I'm about to do this for you. Now, I did a week or so ago a selection of sapphires. They were all, I think, Rondells. I cannot believe that I have got a faceted strand of drops in some of the rarest colours of sapphire. Now I've been telling you recently that sapphire, the situation with it, I'm sure you've heard it all over the channel and any other channel, our sister channels have been telling you as well, the situation with sapphire at the moment is sadly a bit of an issue. Um, ourselves, even though we have incredible buying power here at the Genuine Gemstone Company, ourselves and others are finding it so difficult to get our hands on sapphire at the moment for a lot of reasons. Mines are closing down uh, left, right and centre. There's been put buying restrictions in left, right and centre. There has been um, issues with finding certain colours. Some of them gemstones, because we've not been able to find them for months and months and months, are certain colours of sapphire it's close to possibly some of them may even be classed as extinct soon if it's left a number of months those colors that we're really really seriously looking for of course yellows have, have always been one of the rarest but now oranges and greens are seriously getting in there as well into this just on the brink of us not finding them in so long that there may not be and there may not be any yields left in the sapphire you're going to be looking for symmetry and color you're going to be looking for strength of hue and saturation so i'm talking about the color saturation within each of these and you're also going to be looking for a good amount of clarity within these and one of the most important ones especially on this strand i'm about to show you is the work that's been put into them the faceting the shape the delicate accents the delicate touches that have been put on these you have all of those things and so much more in this strand Wow. If you bought this strand by itself on our website right now, it would be 44 pounds and 95 pence. If you were to buy this separately. 44 pounds and 95 pence. I'm about to give this to you for 30 or less. It is captivating. It is delicate. It is, for me, everything I could possibly, possibly want from Sapphire. On this strand of your faceted drops, they're all an equal size of four by two mil, and they're 15 carats worth. It's a 23 centimeter strand as well. This is a cluster. I'm just cluster these together. Imagine these as, even as a cluster banded ring. Wow. Wow. I've also got, thinking about the saturation of hue and the symmetry of hue that I was talking about earlier. The clarity is spectacular. This is flirty, this is charming, this is oh so feminine. This has got almost that dusky pink to it. It's not over the pop top, it's not overpowering. Now, do you know some pinks you think of as very girly pinks, almost kind of childlike pinks? This isn't that, is it? This is a sophisticated pink. This is an ageless, timeless, relatively grown up pink actually we'd think of this but it's just so classy really feminine and superbly chic the clarity as I said is exceptional and it's just got this burst of light coming from it which is to me just mesmerizing this to me is one of my paparazzi strands isn't it chica, 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 chica. lights going off left right and center 15 carats worth on there. And these are graduated all the way up to four by two. <laughs> now I already know before I show you this, because of the lights in here, this is gonna look jet to you. It's not. This is, think I was talking about it before, this is the uh, Kate Middleton ring, deep, archetypal, beautiful, 
sapphire blue. I always feel so special when I get to show you sapphire and especially I have to say this deep, deepest, beautiful sapphire blue. Synonymous with royalty throughout the ages, present in pretty much all crown jewels over the world, over and over again it's seen throughout the ages. It's deep, it's rich. I adore about this as well that sapphire, I think if perhaps you're not a jewellery connoisseur or perhaps you know you haven't really delved that much into gemstones and the history of gemstones and the variety of gemstones I think when you see this blue you instantly know it's sapphire which you might not actually if, if you didn't know that much and maybe you saw a pink strand you might think oh that must be ruby or you, you might see you know a yellow strand and you know you wouldn't be totally sure exactly what it is with this you know straight away it is that deep dark oh so seductive secretly sexy blue that you have on this really sparkling strand of your bluest of blue sapphire 20 carats worth on this strand and this is just gemstone upon gemstone again on this one as with the pink no spaces whatsoever on there one of the rarest colors of sapphire Honestly, if I am bringing this to you in, oh, I don't know, six months time, I will be amazed. I really, truly will. We haven't been able to get a decent yield of green sapphire in months. And this is only in this collection purely because we managed to get it such a long, long time ago. Such a long time ago. Because if you think about it, we see the gemstone, we will agree on the yield, we'll then collect this, we then of course go and get it shaped, you get it faceted, it has to go different places to get different pieces of paperwork, it has to be authenticated, it has to have all the checks done on it, it has to go to labs sometimes, um, and then obviously it has to get shipped to us. So that can take six or seven months. I had Anna Oxbury on the other day and she was saying, wasn't she, that already she's buying for Christmas, because that's how long it takes. These are your beautiful green sapphire. 20 carats worth again. The lights aren't really doing this green justice, but you'll be able to see it in a moment on the recording. And then finally, before I show you this strand, lovely director Ben, will you get that slide up for me? This is that relatively new sapphire. It's amazing I'm able to put this in a bundle for you already, because normally with new strands, it takes such a long amount of time. This is your beautiful Songian Sapphire, and this is, as you can see, it is from Tanzania. Now, that picture that you'll see in the center there, it says the sapphire price per carat. So it's saying 40 carats at $20, which would equate to $880 worth. So if we were to put that into pounds for 40 carats worth, which is what you're getting on the strand I'm about to show you, you'd be paying £474.97. Now these are totally natural. You could see there on the little blurb at the bottom, it tells you, you know, it's got the biggest array of a selection of colours within there. You can see pinks, purples, greens in this beautiful natural gemstone. I am so excited to bring this to you in general but also in a bundle and also this lengthy strand, 45 centimeters worth of totally natural, beautifully versatile Songia, 40 carats worth. Reds, greens, tans, umbers you got ruby tones actually which is funny now let me bring in your should be price before i show you them all together 182 pounds and 75 pence i just want to let you know that that takes into account 
any discounts we might have on at the website at the moment. If any of those have been price slashed that you've just seen now, if any of them has been price slashed on our website for one reason or another we've got an offer on, we take that into account. So this is your price on the website currently, for which you would be getting a seriously lengthy strand of this beautiful, versatile mixture of your 40 carats worth of the Songi and Sapphire. You'd get this vibrant, beautifully clear, ever so elegant, classy and feminine strand of the pink sapphire. You'd also get the rarest of rare green sapphire, which I'm sure you saw then on the VT, looks much greener to the eye than it does under these studio lights. You've got your, you can see it there, can't you, that beautiful green. That's the colour you're going to be getting because that's um, a replica of an outdoor daylight um, light that we have on those ones there. So you'll be able to see that green much more powerfully at home. You've got your archetypal sapphire blue with this beautiful richness, seductive sparkle. And then finally, this strand, which should have been close, what well, was it? £44.95 pence for this on our website. In fact, the green sapphire is that price as well, isn't it? $44.95. The pink one, I think should be, the, is that the most expensive one? It's £45.95, the pink one, at the moment. $44.95, $44.95, So of course, already we're getting up there. £182.75. Now, it's really, really important imperative, truly, that you take on board the fact that we cannot get our hands on Sapphire at the moment. We truly cannot. There's an embargo, there are pricing issues, there's issues to do with the yields that they're able to find and collect at the moment. Therefore, it's imperative that you know, in six months' time, we won't be doing massive bundles like this at the price I'm about to do for you because we can't get our hands on any at the moment. And also because in six months time, we'll be getting through the amount that we would be purchasing now, but we're unable to purchase now. I'm gonna do under 30 pounds per strand. Your price today isn't 183, it's 125 pounds on the nose. £25 per strand for genuine sapphire today. You've got gorgeous drops. How unusual is it to see drops? Beautiful drops with this gorgeous, bright, zesty pop. You've got your archetypal oh so popular, only set to come back into popularity now that Kate uh, Middleton has got that beautiful Cartier dark, dark, deep sapphire back on her wrist at the moment. You've got the rarest of rare green sapphires. You've got the gorgeous clarity of this really ultra feminine pink. And then you've got your totally natural songi and sapphire which is only relatively new to us and that's a 45 centimeter strand the saving on this today is 57 pounds and 75 pence this is such a dramatic saving it truly truly is and it's just so important that you understand how luxurious these are and do you know what as soon as you get them home you'll know what do you think of these Sarah Amazing. I, I, I want to have those because they just, as a jewellery maker, they're ticking all the boxes. You know, they're saying, you know, high end quality, uh, designer, they're saying all of those things about them. And the fact that you've got that dark blue sapphire in there, which is, you know, was my mum's favourite gemstone. So for me, that's just beautiful. I mean, she had an engagement ring made out of dark blue sapphire, just no diamonds, just dark blue sapphires. Really? Yeah. So, oh. you know, it's one of those ones to have that and to have that real sort of identifiable blue of sapphire as well as a jewellery maker to people to say is that sapphire and you can turn around and say yes and I've got an authenticity certificate to prove that as well you know and to have all of those other gemstones in there as well I'm looking at the sapphires and that the pink together the blue and the pink together what a combination it truly is isn't it oh, just they are amazing and you're going to make such beautiful pieces of jewellery whether you um, want to set these simply just a single strand with some um, gold covered sterling silver findings 
and just have a really simple elegant bracelet or neckline piece or whether you really want to go to town and as you've done there really go for it and just have a mix of all those gemstones together just like that it's just amazing oh just a dream to see those all in one place as well isn't it mm. i adore the idea as well imagine this sapphire bracelet with 925 with sapphire charm drops oh because you've got these gorgeous drops. Don't yeah. forget, this strand should be £44.95, pence, as should the green. The pink should be £45.95. Genuinely imperative at this point that you do get your authenticity cards with this. Now, you can do that in a couple of ways. You can either get yourself online now, purchase it online, and then you'll be able to print one off once you've purchased them you'll be able to print off a, a printout alternatively you can purchase one it's 50p you can get it from the call center and it's it's a laminated sheet that gives you all mm -hmm. the info and it's almost like a little card size which is great for if you're selling your pieces on yeah. isn't it it is and it's really professional because it's all about you know it's a like a business card size so it fits beautifully if you need to put it in a box you know if you're making a bracelet it'll go beautifully in a bracelet box with the gemstones and it's just so nice to be able to say and to back up what you're saying to your customers and say, here you go, this is an independently done certificate of authenticity. Yeah. It proves what it is. And, you know, that, that gives your customer such peace of mind as well. Because a lot of people think, you know, that because we get such great prices from Jewelry Maker and we do pass that on to our customers as, as you know, sellers of genuine gemstone jewelry. Um, they think sometimes, you know, it can't be true because of the prices we can offer, even when it's made into jewellery. I know. Um, and, you know, that just gives you the peace of mind as a seller or if you're gifting it to somebody, for them to keep that for future reference because, you know, if you're making jewellery from these gemstones, I personally can see that these are going to be heirloom pieces that are going to stay in the family for a long, long time. And isn't it nice to be able to back that up with that certificate? Definitely agree with that. I've just been uh, having a little think as well. To buy these three strands together, the most regal and royal of all gemstones, all sapphire, just these three strands would be £135. Wow, deal. Take £10 off and essentially for free, you're getting your deep darkest archetypal seductively sparkly sapphire and your beautifully natural 45 centimeter strand of your natural sangria sapphire for nothing essentially if these ones are 135 by themselves and don't forget i showed you that slide earlier on with the sangian and working it out in the um dollars working out in dollars and the carrot weight you can see for 40 carats which is what i've got in this strand in that dollar weight now that is a, a location whereby it's essentially sort of straight out of the mine and they have a little ex a exhibition little stall that at that price for 40 carats would be the equivalent of 474 pounds 97 pence but essentially you're kind of getting it for free along with this one 135 just these three two extras at this price let's be honest it is a considered purchase of course it is because of the price tag however you have to remember that these are constantly constantly luxurious these are never going to go out of style or out of fashion these are the type of pieces that you're going to make pieces and then you're going to hand them down throughout your family or, or whoever you give them to or sell them to is going to hand them down. These are going to be pieces that stay in your family for generations and generations to come. In fact, they might even stay in your collection. You know, sometimes <laughs> you have those strands that you actually do not want to snip up. You don't want to. These might be those that you literally just want to stare at and enjoy yourself. They truly might be. Sapphire Supreme. Well, that is an understatement, isn't it? It truly is an understatement. And if we think about it, let's have a little look at this. Because I think, it's, isn't it amazing to have 
drops of sapphire of this size. I think it's just so spectacular. Let's, let's have a little idea. If we go to one of the ends, let's have a little look at the amount that you might use, say, for, let's say, a pair of earrings. So let's have a little look. Say we're going to use, I like to work in odd numbers, and I'm sure a lot of you do. So say we use three with a little bit of 925 with just a little drop chain, I would. Mm. Drop chain, maybe even waterfall effect. Just three at the ends. Three. And then the other pair there. So essentially, you've used this tiny amount. Now, all of this left over. I wouldn't even like to hazard a guess, but what are you thinking? I could easily get, oh, well, how many? Possibly, possibly 15, 15 pairs of earrings off this. Possibly, couldn't I? How much would you pay? How much would you pay for a pair with, you're getting six sapphires, a pair of earrings, yeah, 925. What mean, would you think? I mean, you've got to be looking at upwards of 30 pounds at least, I would imagine. Oh, because easily. Because sapphire, I mean, go to your high street and just look if you can get sapphire. Mm. I mean, you might get blue sapphire, possibly, but it won't be that midnight blue. It'd no, it really won't, blue, really. I would imagine. Yes. Um, it won't be that beautifully faceted because they'll be popping a little piece into a charm or a pair of earrings or something like that, and it won't be faceted all the way around like that, where you no. can't hide any imperfections at all. Um, you won't get pink sapphire. I mean, I don't think I've ever seen pink sapphire other than in those really, really the ones that got the security guards outside type jewellers. I know what you mean. <laughs> <laughs> um, and you look in the window because you dare not go inside because there's no price tax. Yeah. Um, you may get them there. But to have these in your collection and to be able to offer those, I mean, if you are, you know, the sort of person that does, you know, have uh, customers that are looking for these high-end gemstones, to have those in your collection, to be able to offer them, then there are people out there that are looking for these gemstones all the time. Uh, but just as gifts, I mean, I would be looking to get these to gift. I mean, can you imagine you've got enough gemstones there for several big occasions coming up if you make these into charms, into earrings, into rings, you know, you've got a lot there. And if, you, if you're the sort of person who maybe have a big family with lots of female members and you can make lots of pieces of jewellery for them, it's an awful lot cheaper than going down the high street in the season to uh, buy those pieces of jewellery. So, I mean, it's just an amazing collection. I love it. It truly is a superb collection. Now, there are plenty of you getting your hands on this. What I will say is those extra five of you have just added it to your baskets. It's important that you are checking out because I'm in my last chance saloon today on this at the moment and I've just had an influx of people on the phones. We will be with you 800 644 655 or get yourself on jewelrymaker.com. The fact that you can get yourself this carat weight of one of the most spectacular gemstones in the world in five different forms is mind boggling. £25 per strand for genuine sapphire. Even if this is a little bit out of your budget at the moment, maybe it's a little bit out of your price range at the moment. How about giving your friends one of a call right now? If you've got a budding and beader friend, or perhaps you do jewelry parties with someone you share the load, how about giving them a quick call or a quick text now? See if they're watching. Maybe they're thinking the same thing. Maybe give your best friend a call. See whether or not they'd like to go half skis on this. And you can have half a strand each because let's face it, even if you only had half a strand of this song in that sapphire. That's half of the strand. That's just over 20 centimetres worth. You've still got plenty there, haven't you? 25 pounds per strand is just spectacular. KLGC93. Now I am gonna have to move on from this purely because there's plenty of you on the phone lines. And also I'm heading over to wonderful Sarah now as well. But genuinely, you need to stay where you are on the phones. And if you're watching me back at night, do try and give the call center a call. If you are lucky enough to get one or two left, it's totally, totally worth it. So don't think just because you're watching back at night that you've definitely missed out because you might not have done. Head over to lovely Sarah now. Hello. Gosh, weren't those sapphires beautiful? <gasps> Dropped, they're gorgeous. Dropped, eh? Gorgeous. They were, they were most amazing, amazing gemstones. Speaking of drop, they're gorgeous. <laughs> we see in this collection, you've got something that to me feels a little bit lacy. Yeah, we, 
Yeah, it does a bit, doesn't it? It really does. <laughs> You've got one that's kind of a bit modern, a bit funky, yeah. that we were talking about earlier. Yes. Bit of a clubby design, yes. isn't it? Bit yeah. of a going out to a party yeah, design. And then you've got this super wearable but really chic statement bracelet as well. I know, and it just feels great on. I mean, I was, I was when I made that, I put it on. I thought, oh, it feels wonderful to wear it. So because it's got real form to it, that bracelet it really, stays where it really is. Really beautiful. You've got loads and loads <laughs> in this bundle. I have to be honest. You've got these wonderful springs, which I think are fab. You're going to be getting ten of these little spring spaces. How are these to work with? Oh, very easy, very easy, and just really fun. They just add a little element. They just add a little shine, a little sparkle, a little just difference, really. They are, aren't they? They'll just yeah. add a little zhuzh, a little bit of a design detail. You will be getting 10 of these. I don't want to get them all out. They'll roll all over the place. <laughs> but they are these spring detail spaces. Great size holding there. You'll be able to see lovely for all your threading. You're also getting a silver findings pack, which has got 115 different findings in there, including your chain. Oh, it's got those snowflake spaces, which I love. Yeah, I haven't seen those in ages. The square ones. Yeah, they're the little square. I always think they look like him. Um, I, I might need know. to borrow those for dinner. Oh, yeah, go ahead. No problem. Um, <laughs> let me show you. Yeah. I haven't tweezed it, but let's have a little look on my hand. I think they look like snowdrops. I don't know why. They are squares. Yeah. But, but they've got that beautiful silver mm. style effect, and they've got all these little uh, areas of interest within there, little spaces yeah. there. You're getting a massive pack of those in the findings pack as well. I'll leave some of them out for you, my yeah, love. Yeah, thank you. Um, you get the chain in there, the toggle class, everything you saw on screen then is what you will be getting, all in this handy little organza bag. You've got massive amounts of gemstones here, real nice variety. Rainbow Obsidian deep jet black but it is the rainbow obsidian so it's got just a little extra something going for it in these huge rounds 340 carats worth we have here of the rainbow obsidian and these are 12 mil rounds you've also got in here i love how well they go together oh they do don't they? Really beautifully. It's got that real nice monochrome vibe. In fact, the whole thing goes beautifully together, doesn't it? It, it does. really, really does. <laughs> Truly does. 90 carats worth of your moonstone in these plain rounds as well that we have here. Now, these ones are six mil that we have. So you can see the beautiful juxtaposition in size between these. It really does just add interest. You've also got, which I haven't seen in such a long time, Keshi pearls they're one of my favorite styles of pearls i have to be honest i have not seen these in such a long time with the keshi you've got that organic feel the due to the shape of these that wonderful pearlescence just dances on the surface pinks greens yellows blues it truly is so spectacular and you also have the chain as well you're going to be getting a meter's worth of this silver chain and it's it's lovely it's got a chunky details to it, it doesn't has. it it's got a chunky feel to it but it's really lightweight really lightweight and it's really easy to use because it's got um, a link at each in each chain in each um, link there's an actual cut so you can open and shut every single link so you can change it you can link it together um, so you can do things like I did with the bracelet where I've actually sort of almost used it a bit like chain mail um, to create that bracelet feel I love the way you've done that it does give it a really funky look yeah. doesn't it all of this the 10 spring spaces, meter of chain, genuine cashew pearls, beautiful moonstone, rainbow obsidian, 115 findings. The price should be 34 pounds and 70 pence. But designer inspiration, we want you to watch at home so you can play along when you get all the goodies. So your price today is just 23 pounds and 95 pence watch this back on youtube make a note of today's date get your hands on this now add it to your basket call the call center quote the code rpgc69 it's your sheer elegance you've got over 10 pounds saving on this well 11 isn't it really that you're saving on this give the call center a call make a note of the date and then you can watch this back on the jewelry maker youtube simple as that when you get all of this winging its way to you in two three four days watch us back 
play along at home. Yeah, definitely. It's a cracking deal, it's a cracking discount, and I do love the versatility. I do, yeah, it, it just lends itself to really vintage pieces, but also you've got a modern twist as well by having um, the spiral spacers and the aluminium chain in there. I mean, it really just gives it a completely different feel. So it you can truly do does. As you will with it. But it, it really does. It does have a beautiful feel. And I just love the Keshi pearls, or as my husband called them, those sparkly things. Oh, I love. <laughs> they are sparkly. He they said, are very he said sparkly. you need some more of those sparkly things. <laughs> Does he help you out with your ideas? Um, no, I'll, I'll go and ask him. I'll go and say, what do you think? And he'll, he'll be honest. He'll say, mm, and I'll go off and think about something else. But my, my youngest son's the best. Is he? Um, if I ask him, do you like it? He'll either give me a yes or a no straight away. What if he says no? But then I go and take it apart and do something different. Seriously? He's normally right. He is normally right. So Because wow. normally I will, if I'm not sure about something, I'll leave it. Yeah. Go have a cup of coffee. Come five minutes away it. from it. Have a look. Put it on the, on the jewellery making bust. Walk away from it. Come back and have a look at it. If I'm happy with it, then I'll leave it. But you, sometimes you just need to walk away and have mm. another look. Because sometimes you just get so almost nose down that you can't actually see it for what it is so you yeah. just need to walk away from it leave it for a while sometimes I just leave it on the side in the dining room and when I'm making dinner I'll have a look around and have a look at it and choose decide whether there's anything it needs adding to it or whether I should just leave it as it is or whether I should take it apart and start, again. start again I love that you have that though you have those people you go to yeah. and ask I wonder yeah. if do you have things like that at home do you take <laughs> breaks from it do you have people you ask do message us in to let us know and don't forget Sarah's here with us until five so <laughs> any questions for yeah. her you can too text number 60 triple seven start your text with the word JM studio get in touch throughout the afternoon we're here till five to help you out let's get started then. okay so we're going to do the really in-depth piece the, the the lacy style bib piece because um it's, there's quite a lot of elements into it, but actually it's it's all beading, so there's, it's great for a beginner. Okay. If, if you're just a beginner, this is fine because you don't need to have any wire work, you don't need to have any of those skills, no chain mail, no other skills are required other than putting beads onto thread and crimping. So okay. it's a really easy skill set. Um, and what I've done is I've taken a long piece of beading thread, and what I've done is added onto that beading thread um, one of the obsidian, two of the snowflake spacer beads either side, and two of the moonstone. Mm -hmm. Then I've taken a third moonstone and I've crossed my beading thread through and then I'm just going to pull that and pull it into a circle. Okay. And this is the start of the central circle with the, with the um, obsidian in on the neckline piece. So we're going to do that and what we're going to do is I'm going to show you one I've, I've done a few more circles with and I'm going to show you how to do each circle. So when you do a few more you'll get to this point. I'll show you how to set up the next circle. And what you do is, if you imagine that was my first circle, just here. Yes. All I've done is taken the beading thread that's coming out to the right, and I've added on two moonstone, one of the spacers, an obsidian, a spacer, and a moonstone. Okay. I'm going to take that tail, and it then it's going to come through the moonstone. If I tip that up, can you see the last moonstone here? It's yeah. going to come through the bottom of that one and up like that. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm not going to pull it all the way through, I'm just going to pull my threads together, take my moonstone, my first moonstone for my new bunch, Okay. push it all the way up to there. So you can see I've got it all pushed up. Then pull my thread through. Now what you need to do to make sure this pulls really tight mm -hmm. is if you lift these beads up and drop them down like that and then pull your thread, you'll get a tighter finish than if you just leave them. And Good then tip. you can see that coming through. Um, and then so we're going to just do that again so it's and what you want is seven circles or seven of the obsidian I see so seven of the small yes. circles which builds up this really it does Sorry. beautiful centerpiece so it's two of your moonstone it is spacer obsidian spacer so it's a really nice combo and then a moonstone and we'll do that again and then I'll show you how to finish this last one off so it goes round again, and you can do this alternating, do one on the left side, one on the right side, just turn your work over 180 degrees, mm -hmm. um, and then that will mean that your thread stays the same size on both, both sides. So take it through the moonstone, bring your threads back together through the moonstone of your new group that mm -hmm. you just added, pull most of the excess away, then lift your beads up so they're dropping down. And you can hold those with your finger, just in your finger and thumb, just to hold it in place, and that gets you to that point. Okay, so I've now got, I mean, I've got six on there, so I'm ready now 
for my last loop. And this is where a lot of people get stuck on these. They sort of go, hang on a minute, how do I finish them? What you do is you take one of the moonstone and you just, if you imagine, you're gonna finish each layer in turn. So you can see there's an inside layer, a middle layer, and an outside layer of the circle. And you're gonna finish each one in turn. Okay. And so you cross over that moonstone. And that pulls your central circle in. Can you see how it's now come I see together? It's, it's knotted itself together. So I've got that central circle there. Then what I need to do is I need to take my beading thread up through this moonstone to the left and the moonstone to the right. So literally just come through and pull. And if it gets twisted, just untwist it and pull it through. Because bees in thread, once it is twisted, it can kind of stick that way, can't it? It can. It's got a bit of a memory because it has got metal in it. Um, if you imagine that this is lots of pieces of metal that are metal wire that are twisted together and then coated, so you can bend it. You can bend it and f cause it to sort of have a memory. Mm. So you just need to be gentle with it. Which is why it's, it's lovely for creating shapes with them, flowers and leaves. Yeah. But in this instance, you do want to be quite smooth with yeah, it, don't do. you? And then that's going to pull through. And then I'm going to finish off my other layer, which is one, two, three. It's just to put all my spacers. Okay. And then to cross through an obsidian. So a spacer on each thread and an obsidian on. So a spacer and an obsidian on that side. And you will notice my thread's got a bit um, sort of spirally from working. That's fine. It won't. That won't cause a problem. Okay. So there we go. I've now finished my circle completely. So if I lift that up, you can see. So that's the central circle. So you could use that as a pendant if you want to. You can use that for whatever you like. And then what I created, I've done these already for you, in very much a similar fashion, is two of these moonstone versions okay. with the spirals in there. And what these are, are it's exactly the same process to go all the way around apart from when you do your first one you add on five moonstone and cross um, sorry two moonstone a spiral two moonstone and then cross through a fifth yeah and then you carry on the pattern the same as we did with the obsidian except you're replacing the obsidian and the spacer beads for the spirals so you're going to create two exactly the same wow I've just heard something loopy no, he's not. <laughs> Whoa. 20 pounds? Wait, that should have been like 34 pounds, wasn't it? 34 pounds 70. So wait, this is 14 pounds 70 saving. Wow. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That is a serious treat. Think of it this way, think of it this way. Say we're doing the gemstones, okay? Let's just do it gemstones and, and chain and findings and stuff, okay? So it's gonna be 10 pounds for a strand of Keshi pearls, a strand of rainbow, uh, a strand of moonstone, and a strand of rainbow obsidian. I hardly ever get to show you this. This is so unusual to have this on the show, let alone in this massive size. So these three, 10 pounds. I've brought you Keshi pearls, for nine for nine ninety five before this, like a strand like this for nine ninety five, you're getting all three for five p extra. But then think of it this way as well: meters worth of the chain, a findings pack which is normally uh, seven ninety five, isn't it? With these ten new spring spaces, ten pounds again. So eight pounds. So we know that the findings pack seven ninety five, don't we? So let's round it up just be, just for my sake to uh, eight pounds five p extra. So eight pounds for those findings, eight pounds, which means you're getting a meter of chain for a quid, and you're getting these springs ten of them for a pound again. Oh my goodness! Pip, you should go on holiday all the time if you come back and do crazy prices like this, my love. <laughs> £14.70. I cannot believe you are doing this today. 
This is a deal and a half. You need to get this right this second. 14 pounds, 70 pence saving. <gasps> Do you know what? Even if you're not planning on creating these looks, even if you just need to top up on your stash, this is your chance to do it, isn't it? It truly, truly is. So can we divide this, Pip? Because oh, I've not got my math set done today. So I've got three strands of genuine gemstones. I've got a findings pack. So can we do that price 20 divided by um, six for me? Divided by six? Yeah, because there's six individual components. I'm not even £3.33. You're getting this findings pack for £3.33? A meter's worth of chain, a genuine strand of cashy pearls for just over three pounds. Massive rainbow obsidian. RPGC69. I'm going to have to be quiet about this now because the amount of people who have just got their hands on this is Coco Loco. Do not worry if you bought this at the original price drop price, you will only be paying £20 for it today. Over £14 saving on this. Now she chance to get it. I have to move on because there are so many of you there. If you want to add it to your baskets now, you've still got the opportunity. If you get on the phone right now, you still have. However, if you leave it 10 minutes, you might not at that price. Just over three. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love thing. it. Can I just have a quick look at that neckline piece? Of course you can. It's just one of those ones where I, did, I put it together and now I can't remember how I did it. There we go. Right. Okay. Da, 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 da. Yes, that makes sense. <laughs> Have you remembered? Yes. No, it's fine. It's just where the threads go. Actually, you can see where it goes because um, it comes out from here, from the sides of this the spirals, and comes into this part here. Oh, I see. So I've put two of the pearls there. Um, yeah. So that's fine. I've got Fab. it. Fab. I've got it. You've got it. I've got it. So. I'm going to do is I've got on one side and you end up with a lot of threads so I'm just going to move this one out of the way okay because otherwise you end up with too many threads and you can't see what you're doing so on the moonstone version that I've just created I've just added on the top um, two of the Keshi pearls to either side of where my last threads went so here's my last threads coming out mm -hmm. got two of the little pearls and one of the obsidian, another one of the obsidian, onto the other thread, like that. And then I'm going to add, onto the top one, I'm going to only add one of the Keshi pearls, and onto the bottom one I'm going to add two. And what this does is it allows it just to bring the neckline piece together. Okay. Okay, so one. I love these. I cannot believe, I know I've not mentioned it, but just over three pounds for a strand of Keshi pearls. And I, I don't know about you, but I, for some reason, I've not brought Keshi pearls to you in ages. Now, I know I've been talking about pearls and how it's hard to get yeah. your hands on it and how, you know, there's been a drop of around 40% on the amount you're actually able to get mm. anymore because of, you know, the film that's come out, that Vanishing Pearls and stuff. But even, I, we were all expecting that drop, although we know from September, was it November, to, September to November, there's been a 40% drop in the amount of pearls you can get your hands on. Mm but it's set to drop even more. I'm, I haven't seen them in ages. I haven't. The last kit, I'm crying, I can't even remember the last time I had any, even in a, in a bundle or a kit or anything. No, me neither. I really with. can't. No. So what I've got now is I've taken my central circle of gemstones, the ones with the obsidian, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to come through with this one, this thread. I've got my top obsidian here, and I just want my threads out of the way. Mm -hmm. and I'm going to come through this one just to the right of it, and I'm going to come through the top of it with my beading thread. And I'm going to ignore the spacer beads, and I'm just going to come through like that. Okay. And it's just this is just going to be bringing this together. And what this thread's going to do is it's going to travel all the way around in a minute and, and become out down the bottom here. So that's connected that one up. Then what I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to connect it back through this one as well in the opposite direction, like that. And you can see that this starts to connect my necklace together. Okay. Like that. 
And then what I want to do is I would do the mirror image on the other side, but I'm not going to do that for you. I'm just going to show you how I'm going to get to the bottom of my neckline piece. Okay. So what I've got here is I've got one thread coming over this side and one thread coming down here. I see. And what I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to feed it all the way through until it comes out of the opposite side of the bottom obsidian. Okay. So it takes a couple of seconds, but it is worth doing this because it hides all your threads. But all, what it also does is it makes um, all of your wire work really neat and tidy. So just pull that under there, and pull it down, and you'd keep going all the way around. Now I'm going I'm to be a bit naughty and I'm going to miss some of it. So just to make it quick so you can see where it's going. Don't worry, we have got plenty of time. Okay. And just to let you know, although we have plenty of time, we do not have plenty of stock. There we go. Ten people with it in the baskets. Oh. People on the phone. You have to be really quick. Yes, yeah, just an amazing price. Isn't it? Fourteen yeah, pounds seventy amazing. saving. Wow. So that comes down and it's gonna go to the opposite side of this. And there is a lot of weaving involved in this, just to get it in all these threads into the right places because they're going to come down. This one will start to form part of that bottom drop, that bottom V. So now that's in place. You can see that's where that's come from. Okay. The one that's running to the top up here that came out of that um, moonstone moon circle um, is going to go all the way around the opposite direction until it comes out just next to it. Okay. So it's going to come right around through all the spacer beads. And this is where patience is required because you'll find that it takes just a little bit of doing. It's a bit like thread, you know, sewing. You're just going to sew all the way around with your beading thread. Like that. Well, mine won't be as neat as it would be at home because I'm missing all the spacer beads because it makes it a bit quicker. <laughs> <laughs> but you'll go through all the spacer beads um, and through all your obsidians. If you wanted to, you could add extra beads on and, and miss your spacer beads at this yeah. point, and that would be a different good. design um, aspect to this piece of jewelry. You could put a couple of Keshi pearls on and miss your spacer beads if you wanted to. Nice. Yeah, that's a good point. Is it very versatile, this technique, isn't it? It is. It's incredibly versatile. So that's got my two threads down to the bottom, and the, I would do exactly the same thing on the opposite side with the other moonstone okay. um, circle. So I've now got a thread up here that's coming out of my central circle at the top where I finish this central circle. If I move that down, there we go. So it's coming out the top. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add on to there. This is going to actually come to form my neckline okay. strand. So it seems a bit crazy. We'll come right from the centre. It's going to be the, the uh, neckline that's going to go up to the chain. So I'm going to add on there a couple of the Keshi pearls. like that and then I'm going to take it through the obsidian that joined the moonstone circle on like that so each time we're just elaborating these little links then I'm going to add on again another couple of the Keshi pearls so each of these sort of links are sort of strengthening this piece um, and because you've got a lot of beading thread in there it becomes quite a, a structural piece it's not got um, it does move but it's got a lot of strength to it I'm going to go through the spiral bead, which are really easy, as you saw that just went straight through, and through the moonstone at the top, like that, and through this moonstone, and then that thread has then found, found its way to its home. That one's now going to go and be my neckline the piece. The neckline attachment, yeah. I see. Yeah, so I would do exactly the same on the opposite side, and that would create the whole structure of that piece, and then it's coming down the bottom um, of the piece. And what we do, what I've done here, is just bef when I'm coming across, I'm going to come across with this thread, actually. It's not come right far across, enough across. When I go through this space of bead, what I'm going to do, this middle central space of bead with that thread, is, I've got a little bag in here, there it is, 
got some little chain links in here which I'm going to add to the centre of the circle. What these are, of the chain you get in your findings kit, they are four links long okay. and there are four of them. I see, so I've easy to remember. Easy to remember, four links, four of. And I'm going to take this thread that I'm just about crossing. The, so this is my centre here. I see, that's almost where you started yes, on that initial it is. loop, isn't it? So it's my centre and just as I'm crossing over that centre, I'm just going to add these on, which just fills that V-shape with a little bit of interest. Yeah, I see. But you have to kind of think about it before you get that far, otherwise you, it's too late to add them in. I see. And just pull those down your thread a little bit and take that thread and cross it through and out the side. So that's pulled those through. So I've got my little tassels in there now. My little chains are in there. And I'm going to do just as do a simplified version of the V for you. You'd okay. have two threads normally, but I'm just going to use the one. Okay. This one. And it'll give you an idea of how to create that bottom central bit if it will behave. And what I found is if you have difficulty getting these threads out between the spacer beads, yeah. if you have something sharp like a like an awl. Like an awl or a pair of scissors or something like that. You can actually just slide that in there. And when you're trying to pull that thread through, you can just slide it in and sort of anchor it back out again so it's not bashing against the beads. Good tip. And then you'd have, normally you'd have one thread on this side and one thread on that side coming out from both of the moonstone circles. Yeah. And then we can start to create the bottom drops. And all it is is choosing what beads you want and what I did was, because you can't take two strands through your Keshi pearls, so I kind of alternated, I went through some of the Keshi pearls and then put the two strands through a moonstone and then back out again just to sort of create that fullness at the bottom. It's a cover tip. Because it still gives you the full look, but you don't it have does. to worry about the size of the hole in the beautiful Keshi pearls. That's it. And that's why this design is the way it is, is because I knew that I wanted to incorporate the Keshi pearls, but because the drill holes are a little bit smaller and I didn't really fancy doing this all with monofilament um, that I wanted to do it on the beading thread it allowed me to, to do that Just <gasps> whilst you Ooh, are stranding yeah. on those cashew pearls because I know it can be a bit stressful when you're on TV trying <laughs> yeah. to strand as quickly as you possibly can I just see these fitting into this design perfectly they will it's almost got the size and the shape of the obsidian mm -hmm. but then it's got the cashew yeah. it, it's a pearl like the cashew pearl yeah, is definitely this is that extraordinary strand i gave you a little heads up about earlier on it's a stunning white cultured pearls and these are 11 by 10 mil. Now, what do you think this would offer to your design, Sarah? It would just change the feel of it. I mean, it would make it more, possibly more of a, a really, maybe a statement bridal piece if you wanted to, to take it in that direction. Um, to have it all in, in, the, in the sort of the whites and creams would give you that feel. And even, you know, for something like, you know, maybe an evening piece for, for, um, for a bride, if they were getting changed into a different outfit, maybe to have um, that is an evening piece. Oh, that's such a gorgeous idea. The pearl essence is spectacular. Now, I know we were talking earlier on very briefly about the situation with pearls at the moment. Mm. Um, I don't know if you've managed to catch a glimpse of the film yet that came out at the end of last month. It's called Vanishing Pearls. And it's basically to do with the effects of um, natural disasters such as tsunamis, um, oil spills that have occurred. And it's essentially to do with the fact that the yields of pearls have dropped dramatically uh, up to around 60 percent from 2011 so only a couple of years ago and that means that the price has hiked up to about 60 percent again now's the time to get your pearls and definitely time to get this strand because it's elegant it's timeless it's ageless and the price is phenomenal Yours today for just £21.95. The last time I brought to you white pearls that were uh, around, they were definitely 11 mil. They might have been 11 by 10, might have been 11 by 12, but I know for a fact last time I brought white cultured pearls of this size to you, they were £24.95. This again 
is the yield that we were able to purchase around five or six months ago. So the price hike has not yet affected us because this was purchased that while ago. Don't expect to see these prices day in, day out for pearls this time next year. Truly, triple buyers on this. Triple, triple buyers on this. <laughs> I'm not surprised. Oh, amazing. They are vintage, they are modern. Yes. They are for the young and the old. They are great with, they just, they are kind of the chameleon, aren't they? They are. They are. They're the sort of piece of item that if you've got this made into a piece of jewellery, simple, classic, elegant, modern, whichever way you want to go with it, you're going to pick it up every day. It's what I call the sort of nightstand piece of jewellery. It doesn't go away. No. It doesn't. It doesn't make it back to the jewellery box. No, it doesn't. Because it goes off at night, it yep. sits on this jewellery, on your bedside table. And then it's back on. Back on straight away <laughs> in the morning. So that's the sort of piece of jewellery this is going to be for you. And if you know, if you are the sort of person who's having, um, you know, maybe making um, bridal jewellery, and maybe you're making something for this for the bride, for that special day, maybe you're making that vintage, wow pack factor piece for her why not offer her the service and say you know you i can change your wedding jewelry back into everyday jewelry for you after your ceremony if you want me to and and make it back into you know something you can wear every single day because i mean you don't go around wearing the jewelry that you may maybe wore for your wedding every day no it very might be true. quite um statement i mean yeah. mine was very simple i mean I, I just had a simple diamond solitaire but i wished i'd had some beautiful pearls like that but mm -hmm. just not in the budget, I'm afraid. Yeah, <laughs> just not quite in the budget. No, they weren't. Um, I was saying a moment to you, weren't I, that they are kind of ageless and timeless. Yeah. And I said back in November that um, Chanel Carl Lagerfeld did an interview and he basically said that 2014 was all about the pearls. Mm. And my Lord, that has been so, so true. Um, we have seen kind of some of the, the greats uh, wearing these. I saw... Um, Oh, what's the name now? Julie Walters. Oh, yes. Julie Walters. Uh, she was photographed wearing these yeah. the other day. And she's obviously seen as, you know, a staple British actress. Yeah. But then, literally, this afternoon, when I was doing a bit of research online, you've seen Kim Kardashian wearing them for um, her, her wedding party that she's going to. Well, you know, Mary Berry, queen of, queen of cookery, totally. she very often is seen in a very simple pearl chain, pearl chain, pearl chain neckline piece. Totally true. And that's one of her favourite pieces of jewellery. Just have a look at photos of her and nine out of ten of them are wearing that piece of jewellery. It really is. Mm. The Queen as well, every single yeah. uh, Christmas speech or uh, pretty much yeah, she's definitely. strewn in pearls. It doesn't matter your age, it doesn't matter your style, yeah. pearls are going to work for you. And genuinely if you've had a lot of pearls in the past I think what you're going to find in the next, well, in this year, certainly on to next year, is you'll find possibly a new group of clientele, group, new group of customers, mm -hmm. maybe a newer age group actually coming to get their hands on pearls because it has just shot up in popularity this year. Get your hands on it whilst you can, Twenty-one ninety-five, Spectacular, spectacular pearls today. Right, so all I've done is on my strands that are coming down to form the V-shape, is I have just added on there some of the um, Keshi pearls, mm -hmm. um, some moonstone and some spacer beads, just from whatever pattern you fancy. And if you're doing it the way I did it down there, you'll go out and back in and out and back in and it'll create that little bit of um, extra texture at the bottom. And you will find that because the pearls are organic in shape, they're not all the same size. Yes. So if you're a bit like me and maybe a bit OCD when it comes to your jewellery being very symmetrical and sitting beautifully, I would, as I'm doing it, which I haven't done here, pick out two next to each other that are the same width and put them on opposite sides. I see. Um, but, you know. Life's too, tip. life's too short if, you, if you're not, you know, <laughs> don't worry. <laughs> Enjoy. It's one of those things that I realised I put two spacer beads in the wrong place and I had to take it all apart again. It's like, no. <laughs> <laughs> and what I've done is I've just taken my two strands, through a spacer bead, through an obsidian, through a spacer bead and added a crimp onto the bottom. Brilliant. And the crimp will hold those threads for me and I can then take that off. My top tip though is don't cut your threads off until you've got your crimp cover on. Because sometimes when you put a crimp cover on, I don't know why it happens, it sometimes loosens the crimp underneath. Just if you get it in the wrong spot, Good it can tip. do. So just leave your tails of your thread on there. Also, it gives you something to hold on to while you're getting it your crimp cover on. It does give you a good purchase point, doesn't it? It does. And then just switch that. Make sure they're tight. 
and that's absolutely fine. And then you can come in with your flush cutters right up and take those first tails off and get rid of those. And that would be the bottom part of your neckline done. The top part, very simple, you would do exactly the same on the opposite side with your other moonstone circle, which is, if I put that in place, you'll see, would come somewhere like that. Yeah. To create that for you. And you would finish that off and come back through, um, and that would give you the other side of your neckline piece. I see. So it would be something like that. And then what you would do at the top here, where that's coming out, is literally simply to add a couple of the um, Keshi pearls on, just a couple on this end and then just crimp and add your chain on and you are good to go and it's literally as simple as that on the chain it's literally just a crimp crimp cover add the chain on and you are ready to go so here's the and chain, this is the the chain out of the um, is the chain out of the findings pack yes so i've i've done it with an extender chain yeah uh, which is off the ribbon clasp so i'm just taking the ribbon clasp ends off and adding my chain onto it and the reason i've done that is Depending on what you're wearing this with, you might want it higher or lower. Because if you've got a lower plunging neckline, you might want that V to be sitting lower down. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And accentuating whatever um, you're outfit, trying to accentuate. You're wearing. <laughs> yes. Um, you know, and so, you know, it just gives you that opportunity to be able to do that by having the extender chain. And literally, I would just take that through, crimp it off onto the chain, and we, we are done. So, very simple. Very simple indeed. It's simple, but it, I think you'll agree at home, it's a really eye-catching effect that we have on this. It's a statement piece. It's a wearable piece. I could see you, you wearing this oh, well, a all variety sorts of, of locations, really. Yeah, all sorts of um, evening occasions. You know, if you, as I say, if you're going out for a cocktail with the girls, perhaps, you know, going to a wine bar or a champagne bar or somewhere like that, you know, yeah. something. It, you know, it's it's not OTT, um, but it is a bit of a statement. Yeah. And I think it's a classic statement, though. It's not, um, you know, it's it's a really nice piece of jewellery that you can, um, you know, dress up or dress down, I suppose. Because, I mean, if you, I could see that worn with a really crisp sort of linen jacket on a summer's day, you know, going out, you know, going for, walking down the beach, you know, you're going to be going for a cocktail, sat on the beachside bar perhaps, Oof. and you just want, you know, it's a mid-afternoon, it's not swimming time, but it's having a drink in the afternoon. Oh, I'm there, yeah. Sarah, I'm there. With your linen, in the sun. Yeah, just a crisp white t-shirt, linen jacket perhaps, you know, low-line low t-shirt. Oh, yeah. Sunglasses. Oh, definitely. Big Got sunglasses on. on. Got to have your sunnies on. <laughs> oh, I'm there. You're right, though. You can see this everywhere. And let me show you it as well. How oh. doesn't that work gorgeously together? Just a part. E actually, even a double up, you know. You could. You could just run that across the top there. Run and that just across create, the top. Yeah. Create that so you've got the Keshi. You've got the same similar shape and similar si size yes. with the obsidian. You've got the pearls in here anyway. Mm. Yeah, you could simply add that. And you, you could make it a part that you could take out as well if you made it in such a way that it would sit at the right length that you could just add that as an extra layer and then you could take the pearl necklace and wear it separately. Take it as a separate. It's great for holiday wear as well to have jewellery that does that. I mean I always like things that move and change and whether that's you know um, I did a piece with um, a green um, amethyst and it had a neckline, a neckline piece that went down the back that was actually a bracelet so you could take it off and that's it has so just clever. a simple drop down the back so if you had an, a low back dress back on. Dress. You had a beautiful matching drop down the back, but then you could take it off and wear as a bracelet if you were wearing a high top dress. That is so clever. So, that, you know, there's lots you can do with jewellery. So, you know, it's, it, I love the fact that you can change it, you can mix things up, you've got some movement on things. Versatility is most certainly key when it comes to these. Now, we have got uh, probably around two more minutes just before right. the break yep do you want to just talk us through how yeah. we managed to create this bracelet because yeah. um, I think it's just such a beautiful mm. design I'm sure a lot of you would love to know at home yep it's a really really easy easy design what you need to do is you need to separate your aluminium chain into sets of three links okay so you just literally um, open up the links don't forget, this is the meter's worth of chain that yeah. you get in the kit that's at the bottom of the screen. It was almost £15 you were saving all in all, £20 today, which meant you were getting a strand of pearls, a strand of obsidian, a strand of rainbow moonsto uh, uh, moonstone, 
for ten pounds, and then you got a findings pack for three pounds something. Oh, ten beautiful spaces for three pounds something, and the meters with the chain for three pounds something. It was a spectacular saving for you today. And then what you do is you take the three you've got there, and what you do is you take the centre one of the other three. Yeah. Open it up and connect it to that one. So it's a bit like a chain mail process. Okay, so you're connecting it again, so yeah. it's not making a link, you're connecting it to the middle one. No, I'm connecting it to the middle one. So if I open that, you end up with, I'll try and open it up for you, you end up with a link and then two links. Oh, that I way. see. It's almost a, a, yeah. an X shape, isn't it, really? Yeah, and almost. then you carry on doing that down, and periodically you'll just want to add an extra link in the middle because the um, obsidian. obsidian are bigger than the links, there's okay. gaps between the links, so periodically you'll just want to add an extra link. Um, so what you do is you just literally take another three, open it up, close that back up. And what you will want to do is make sure that when you close these back up, they're really close because you're going to put beading thread through there. So you don't want to leave any little gaps because beading thread is a little devil, it'll find the gap. Of course it will. <laughs> um, and then the centre one, open it up again, find the centre one of the next one, hook it on, close it up, and then when you've got a little caterpillar of those, yeah. where you've got the links on either side, spanning out, I see, I open it up, that one there and that one there, you'll have a link on either side, oh, come back you, link on either side, yeah, I see, and what you can do is just take your beading thread, thread it through, add an obsidian, thread it through, add an obsidian, thread it through, add an obsidian, as you brace up. And you create a really wearable, but yes. bold, beautiful piece. Sarah, thank you so much for showing That's us okay. all of this. Really gorgeous statement, but wearable yes. designs, yes. which is so important when it comes to such beautiful pieces I like would, this. I would just keep that in my wardrobe. For, it's a classic forever piece, but I love, piece. I love the chain piece on the end as well, because that's just a, a really modern really twist on it. Yeah, it's definitely fun. lovely. 100%. Well, thank you very much for joining <laughs> us as well. After the break, I have got some more design inspiration with Sarah's wonderful challenge and bargains galore. Stay exactly where you are. Before any of the gemstones that arrive here in Jaipur can leave Jaipur for the UK, they need to be tested. So all the genuine gemstone strands go from the vendor to an independent laboratory. They're then tested to prove that they are what they say they are. Now as you can see here, this shipment of emerald arrived this morning and it comes with this. This is really important. This shows that the emerald has been tested in random strands and can be proven to be genuine emerald. If this authenticity card doesn't arrive with the genuine gemstone, then the shipment won't go to the UK. We all know that you need the right tools for the job. So here at Jewelry Maker, we have developed our very own tool set just for you. In this larger set, we have provided more tools to help you develop your jewellery making skills even further. The kit includes wire cutters, a bead reamer with replacement tips, an awl, tweezers with a scoop, a sliding gauge, a snip and all the essential pliers you will need. All of this is yours for just $15.95, neatly presented in a carrying case with an embossed jewellery maker logo. Stay tuned for more advice, tutorials and demonstrations of jewellery making. We provide the tools, you provide the skill. Join guest designer Gemma Crow for our Adventures with Beading Thread DVD. Gemma will guide you through a variety of techniques from basic to more advanced ways you can use beading thread, including how to create flowers, weaving and plaiting techniques, and much more. To get your hands on a copy, simply contact our call centre. Get creative with Jewelry Maker. If you miss a Jewelry Maker show, then simply go to our YouTube page where you'll be able to find hours of Jewelry Maker footage. Search by show, date or type. Alternatively, search by guest designer by using our playlist page. 
You can also find hours of tutorials with handy hints and tips to give you inspiration. Our YouTube page is updated on a daily basis so you can access any show at any time. Stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. When I say to you, Rainbow Moonstone, what image has just popped into your head? You're getting a mixture of colours. Are you thinking body of colour white? You're thinking lots of inclusions. Maybe you're thinking now and again, just a little glint of a little bit of shimmer. Are you thinking eye clear? You're thinking milky. Boys, milky. I'm hearing milky me. Are you thinking highly faceted? Because a lot of the time we'll either have ones that are really milky in colour and have quite a few facets, or you'll get ones that are kind of changeable between milkiness and totally opaque, and then generally they're quite smooth, aren't they? Smooth in shape, smooth drops. In fact, you know we had the... Um, that agate on earlier, you know, the white agate drops that we had. We, you said earlier, didn't you? Initially, it actually looked like a moonstone. We all did. When you think of moonstone, percentage wise, what colour play are you thinking? 5%, 10% colour play, possibly? Maybe really good quality, really good up to 15% colour play. This has so much colour play, so much faceting and it's clear. I love opal and therefore I love this. And you know what? You're not even getting a quarter of the colour play that I am on this right now. Genuinely. This is tremendous. I have got, for the very first time in my life, pink and yellow colour graduation throughout this, colour sparks, almost um, pinheads. Sir Alvin, you're a love, come over here please, I want to show you this in the flesh, what's the best light to show you it in? That's pretty good. Oh yeah, I think on here. <gasps> that's it, there. That's the one isn't it? It is. That. Oh, it's like a turquoise, isn't it? Isn't it? And yellow coming through off that one as well. <gasps> oh my goodness. Now, tell me the truth. With all of this that we can see now, mm. here, yes. how much, when you look at the screen, do you get? Not nearly a quarter. I don't even think you're getting a quarter of that. I think there is, every single one along there is going, as you're moving it, I'm getting the electric blue flishing from one to the next, all the way along the strand. That is an amazing strand. I don't think I've ever seen a strand do that. Me like that. neither. Genuinely. No. Do you know what I mean now when I say I love opal and therefore I yes. love this? Yes, because you're getting an awful lot of the quality you would get from an opal. Especially that one there. When you tip it up, I'm getting a peach, peach. at the top of it. <laughs> peach and greens, yellow. yes. yellows yes. and the electric blues. Amazing. I don't think I've ever seen Moonstone do that in any shape or size, whether it was a cabochon or whether it was a faceted anything. I have no. never seen Moonstone do that. Not those colours. Amazing. Thank you very, very much. Welcome. I always think it's really important to get a second opinion. Absolute pleasure to see a strand like that because it's so beautiful. I'm glad you feel that way because... <sighs> this is one of those strands <laughs> But it's kind of, I'm a bit fickle like this. This has sort of made me fall in love with Rainbow Moonstone now. Just due to this. And I see a lot of Rainbow Moonstone, as do you. 
this is the first strand I've ever seen that I actually think I need that in my collection. And I, I've never thought that before about Rainbow Moonstone. We all have different likes, we all have different loves, we all have favourite gemstones. Until this one, Rainbow Moonstone wouldn't have been up there for me, but it is today. I've got triple buyers on this. I need to see the price on this. Your price today for the most exquisite strand of Rainbow Moonstone. I and Sarah have seen £34.95, what do you think? of the moonstone there that is top top notch isn't it i mean it's the nice I, hand on heart the nicest quality moonstone for color play for clarity the cut is amazing it's just everything's going for it and that is an amazing amazing price i really want this like really <laughs> Oh my, look, you kind of see a tiny bit when I have it on my neck, sort of, but that's not even giving you as much as you're getting. But can you see kind of ish yellows, oranges, peaches? See the little peach flash then? It's honestly, it's not doing it justice. It's not. It's truly, truly, truly not doing it justice. <laughs> bit of an electric blue there, but that colour is on every single one, but all over, all over. Look, see, it's a little bit better light source actually. I wonder if it's because my big chin's hiding the light a bit. <laughs> Let's try again. Let me try and pick up some of these on the neckline. Right, see, so as I'm twiddling, you can see a bit more of the blues now. And see over here as well, you've got some up here. Let me twizzle these ones as well. There's a bit more. But honestly, that's not even quarter. Pinks, purples. Truly. Yeah, it's beautifully faceted. Yeah, it's amazingly clear. But honestly, it's the, the shiller that you're getting on this that you need. I can't think of the uh, bringing you clear rainbow moonstone. I really cannot. Have, have, have this strand been on before? Because I've not seen it. It has. I wonder if anyone's got it. If you've got this strand at home, if you've purchased this before, please, please message in now. And if anyone has got this at home, I always think this was opal. Again, I've never said this was rainbow moonstone. This is always my opal thing. It's so annoying when I can see how beautiful this is. And I really wish you could all just step through the screen right now and you could come and look at this because you would be on the phone. Wouldn't you? No, but it doesn't do it justice. It doesn't. And it's really annoying when you sit I, at home. When I see them, and you say you say this all the time, you can't can't see the beauty through no. the TV screen. And I'm there going, it's so right. I want to shout at this every viewer at home and say, you can't see Truly. what I can see in the studio. Get them home. Have a look. Check it out in lots of different lighting conditions. Get it in the garden. Have a look, you know, under your candlelight if you want to. Have a look under your, your household lighting. And check out the different qualities that that gemstone will have in all of those different lighting. It's just amazing. And mm. that is the most beautiful strand of moonstone. I am in love with that. I am in love too. Do you know who else is? Guest designer Sammy. Yeah. Hello, love. There Hiya. Is. You're buying one. Not to dob you in it, if you're trying <laughs> to be sneaky, but you're buying one. Genuinely, because you, you know. It's quite good, actually, because you know. You've been on here when mm -hmm. I've had Opal before. And I, I have to say Opal, because I've never done this with a Rainbow Moonstone before, because I've never seen one like this. I've never seen one with this higher quality. But, Sammy, you've been here when I've bought Opal, haven't you? So you know exactly what I'm talking about here. Had a message in, did you say? Hello, messenger. <laughs> it's from Tanya in Nottinghamshire. Hello, Tanya. That moonstone with sapphire, kyanite, or ionite rondelle spaces would be amazing. Yep. Oh, yeah. In fact, don't I have some kyanite? Oof, Tanya. Ooh, kyanite. Look how beautifully they go. And it's showing off that electric blue superbly, isn't it? 
cracking idea, Tanya. Oh, we love hearing your inspiration at home. Thank you for messaging in. I've got that coming up for you really shortly. I can't comment enough on how much I adore this, and so do plenty of you at home. £34.95, get this home, fall in love. IPSY 25, 30 carats, beautiful means, rainbow moonstone. Box number what, sorry, sweet pea? Ooh, bundle, bundle. Wow, vintage. Really faceted. Have a little look. You've got in here this beautiful pyrite, really stunning submetallic luster to this. 205 carats worth. And these are your faceted rounds. 4 to 12 mil on these ones you have today. Sizable. Really sizable. 12 mil. You've also got on here, if you enjoyed getting your hands on the uh, Mother of a Pearl shell, then you are going to adore what I'm about to show you now. The drops. <laughs> we both did the same face then, Sarah. That was a really attractive face we both just did then. Look at those. If you got that Motherload bundle earlier on, have we got any of that left? We're bringing it back as part of that challenge. We have got some left. It's Sarah's challenge. Add to your order. You're going to have to. You've also got... I love these. They're always plectrum shape, actually, aren't they? But they've got a little bit of a wave to them. This is your green inventory in 160 carats worth that you have here. Leaf-shaped, they're described as. And they are 17 by 14 mil. Eventually, apparently, meant to be good luck if you pop it in your left pocket and then buy a lottery ticket apparently apparently i can't confirm that you win mike but if you say I'll so <laughs> he's doing it he's giving it a go you've got your chain as well here which goes beautifully with that chain i brought to you earlier on because it's the same shape it's just a little bit of a different color it's your rose gold and it's your e-coated again so do not worry if you have sensitive skin with this one uh, it's 38 centimetres worth on this strand and the oval links around 25 by 16 mil. And that, do you know what I love about this chain actually? It's, it's an organic looking chain, doesn't it? It's not all equal. They don't all look exactly the same because when you look at the sizes actually, it's from 25 by 16 mil to 23 by 19 mil. So there are different organic shapes, which is unusual for a chain. So if you've been looking for a chain that will give your piece an organic feel, this is the one for you. And finally, but by no means leastly, bubble gum. Isn't that what this makes you think of? Just me. Doesn't that make you think about bubble gum? Just me, as per usual. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Director Ben. Sort of saying, yeah, I can see that. Um, <laughs> it has though, it's got this really beautiful sheen to it. It's got a real little delicate, just kiss of your bubble gum pink on there. It's like bubbles. It is like Washing bubbles. Up. Washing up bubbles. Or something. Yeah. Or something, says Mike. <laughs> it's like washing up bubbles. Or something. I don't have the nice sheen to them. You're so true. Yeah. That is completely Absolutely. right. <laughs> it's, it's almost like you do the washing up. I do, I live alone. Of course you do. do yeah, have you got a dishwasher though? No. No, no dishwasher. So you know exactly. <laughs> See, here's me with my bubble gum. <laughs> <laughs> Sums me up. Um, this is a hundred carats worth of your pink rainbow coated quartz. Six mil on these. So let's reiterate, you've got your quartz. 38 centimetres of your highly fashionable rose gold chain, adventuring mother of pearl drops, and this hugely graduated strand of your pyrite. The price should be £33.75, pence, which is a steal for one, two, three, four, five strands. That's every single penny we can take off. And do you know how I know that? We didn't agree on that price before, <laughs> upstairs. That's how I know this is every single penny we can get off. Sometime, you all right there, Mike? Do you have a little fall I over then? Uh, what did you do? 
Yeah. Sorry about the camera angle then. He was stretching. Uh, he camera the, Mike uh, was stretching his leg out and he kind of hit the tripod. Kind of like, Do it slow mo. Yeah, slow mo. Kind of stretched and hit and the it camera. rocked it. Ruined everything. Ruined it. No, Mike, you didn't ruin, ruin it all. No, you only ruined it for yourself, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't worry. We didn't even notice. <laughs> <laughs> this is every single penny definitely we can take off work it out per strand for me if you don't mind beautiful beautiful how much five pounds seventeen wow this is exceptional for the carrot weight you're getting the versatility imagine this create a really really girly piece with the the pink bubblegum bubbles of rain, uh, rainbow moonstone Create something funky, but organic, a little bit boho with the chain. Creating something here that's gonna be a little bit natural, maybe a bit outdoorsy, a bit neutral. Create something that's gonna be timeless, age ageless. You can make this fun, you can make this classic. Pair this with pearls, you've got a classic look. Pair it with something that's got a neon twist to it, you've got something bright and fun. And then you've got something which can be disco diva, night out on the tiles, with your girls, having fun, or something, you know, a beautiful pair of quite masculine, sizable cufflinks you could do with this as well, couldn't you? Something for everyone, I'm sure you'll agree. And plenty if you do. ZQ GC41, last look. Treat yourself today. £25.85 for you. Got one for Ben. Does that mean he's going to sing to me? You are, aren't you? I don't think Ben's seen the name of this, but I instantly know what it is. And before you ask, no, it's not Neon Appetite, but we've kind of taken the same thing and twisted it. Yeah, Director Ben has just sung a little song. Come on, Director Ben, I haven't seen you all day. Come out, please. <laughs> Can you sing this for me? Thanks. 200 carats of the 10 mil, 400 carats of the 12 mil. Your name today? Gonna find my baby, gonna <laughs> hold it. Not the whole song. Don't see the whole song, I can't oh, go. Okay. No, I can't go. Well, afternoon, pre-night. <laughs> That's my wonderful director, Ben. I cannot let him sing the whole song because I cried so much last time that my mascara ran all down my face. Um, so I cannot possibly let him. It is your afternoon pre-night. Now I know that Ben absolutely adores pre-night, don't you? Why, why is it, Ben, that you love pre-night so much, remind me? He likes the inclusions in it. You like the rutilation in it. You think it gives it a really organic and natural feel. Yeah, very peaceful, tranquil. I totally agree with that. I like all of those words. Sarah, I haven't played this today. Mm. Three words. Three words. Uh, nature, floral. Ooh, good. Juicy. Juicy. Do you know they remind me of grapes? You know the inside of a grape? I know exactly what you mean. When you peel the skin mm -hmm. off. Yeah, that's what they remind me of. Yeah. They've got those tones, and sometimes where the, if you've got, you know, the larger grapes, sometimes where the pips are, they're a little bit darker. You are totally <laughs> right. I absolutely agree with that. But I just, I, I love pre night anyway, because it's just a really natural gemstone. It's a really natural colour. It's great if you go with all your, your floral cut tones. So it would go beautifully with the piece I made with the shell. Uh, with the mother of pearl go beautifully i cannot wait to show people what you've made <laughs> with that already honestly you're going to be blown away by her challenge ladies and gentlemen let's get your price in afternoon pre-night 14.90 nah that's what it should be how do you feel about 11.95 all right then 11 pounds and 95 pence just for you today O A G C 85 is the code on this double strands they're they're a usable shape aren't they they are your playing round 10 mil 12 mil they're usable they're useful in fact because we had the 12 mil on the rainbow obsidian before mm. yep again you could really with your designer inspiration piece yeah you could change them completely change those over I think they'd look really nice if you alternated those with the pearls as well. Oh, I love the idea of mm -hmm. these with pearls. Yeah, so you know, you could change them, just have pre night pearl, pre night pearl on the circles, change them round. I adore that idea. 
OAGC 85, 250 carats, 400 carats. You've got 650 in total. How do you feel? about these which one's your favorite this section these ones here do you like the pinks what do you want to see the corals together the blues the greens the natural ones what would which ones would you like to see first um i'm swayed towards the the side closest to me at the moment these ones yeah this one's I, here. I want the one two three four f the first five please <laughs> the first five sarah would like i love that <laughs> let's start off with these sugared almonds why these ones um because they've got such a beautiful sheen to them they are a beautiful floral tone um they're very feminine they're going to be really easy to wear um and if you make a piece of jewellery with all of those in together, if you think about all your maxi dresses for summer, all your sort of those floral tone pieces, it's going to go with all of them. You've got that on the nose. Because I've got tops that have got all of those colours in. I have. I've got maxi dresses yeah. that have got all, all these tones yeah. in. Yeah. Or, you know, your tunics, your floaty tunics to wear over your linen trousers. They've all got those sort of tones in. Would you buy this genuinely mm -hmm. for five pounds well 4.95 it's a really good price because there's a the sizable gemstones you know they're going to give you really good impact so that's an mm. absolutely amazing price i love those i'd make a really nice funky ring out of one of those as well and i know you mentioned these two as well mm. do you think these would work well with it oh definitely because they're, the, they're your neutrals they're going to work beautifully this is your white coral and your mother of pearl 10 um on the puffy squares and four mil rounds here so you think these work nicely mm, together definitely the only thing with this is, personally, for me, I'd want a little pop of colour. So I know you mm. mentioned the pink as well. Yeah. So do you think these would go with that? Definitely. Definitely. Oh. You can't, can't go wrong with that combination. You could, pick a, you could randomly pick a gemstone out of your beading tray, put it together, it's going to work. I adore this. You've got in this one, this is your poppy quartz and your um, 120 carats worth there. And that beautiful hot pink as well here of the quartz you've got. How would you feel about five pounds, five pounds, five pounds, five pounds, five pounds? Because you said you yeah. like the first five. Yeah, yeah, definitely. That's a really good bargain. I'm, I'm looking, loving those. Absolutely loving that combination. This would be a stash topper up world, wasn't it? Oh, gosh, yeah. I mean, I'd be looking at that as a sort of collection as well. I mean, I'd be making jewellery pieces out of that as a collection. Mm. I wouldn't even need to be picking, picking anything else to improve with it. Mm. Those would be like a collection piece where it's sort of, you know, you get your spring, summer, early autumn, all there. Well, I definitely 100% think you've got the spring tones in here, 100%. Mm. For me, though, I, you know what I'm like? I love a bit of burst of colour, I don't I? Yep. So I might just think about, if I wanted to, adding these to it. They're going to look amazing. <gasps> oh, my goodness. Look at these pinks. Mm -hmm. Look at that pink shell pearl and this gorgeous coral colour that we have. Then look at these. What do you think of these vibrant oranges? I don't think I've ever seen an orange as vibrant as this before. Do you know, they're so lovely. And there's so many Neon outfits orange. out there that have got this real pop of colour. And you might not be feeling confident enough to go out and buy, perhaps, a, a whole top or, you know, a dress in that colour. But you might be willing enough to add a little pop of that into your jewellery just to be on that sort of the, the trend for the, the season. Mm. And I think you can, you know, you can really change that. If you put that with something like the, the shell and, and the mother of pearl there, yeah. it changes it completely. So you might only have a few pops of that coming into your piece. So it's not so, if you don't want it so vibrant. But I know a lot of people love those vibrant colours, and I do. I yeah. love my colours. Yes. I'm really happy to wear bright oranges and blues and greens and all sorts of different colours. I just wear everything. I mean, I think I need that strand to go with this. You are totally right, exactly what you're wearing. But you've got a bit of blue in that top. I have because there's almost a blue grey green in here. I can do that for you. Cool. I can add you some blue. I don't mind. <laughs> I'm not afraid to add some blue to this. How about adding you goodness? They work well in your top together and they work well in strand form as well, don't they? They do. They, do. they really are great sort of 
bedfellows. They really work together as a, as, as a gemstone combination. Yeah. I love that real sort of pop of colour next to each other. 10 mil on these blue agate. And then, what would you say colour wise goes with anything that isn't black or white? It's got to be green. It's got to be. Mother Nature did it first. She knows what she's doing. It's true though, isn't it? Green goes with everything because it is Mother Nature's colour. Yeah. You have a green stem to pretty much every flower, and then in every flower you all have different colours. You have pinks, oranges, you have blues, you have whites, you have these greens, you have all of the colours we have here. Yeah. How do you feel about five pounds, 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 five pounds. That would be 10, 20, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 pounds. Go elsewhere and just try and get that many strands for that. Genuinely. Yeah, yeah it's just truly right. And know what you're getting. And know that it is described as exactly what it is because I have been caught out before thinking I'm going to be buying this and it's going to be what he says it is and it's come and been delivered to me and it's not been to my liking I'm afraid no. and that's that's the beauty of buying from jewelry making you know exactly what you're getting you really do don't you yeah do you know what five pounds per strand for genuine gemstones would be spectacular I'm going to do it for lower do you know why because it's just another manic Monday. This is it's the name, it's the name. The price today. That's a bit of a weird number though. Can I change that? <laughs> Go on. Not 47.50. That isn't even the should be price, just so you know. 34 pounds that means these workouts not five pounds five pounds five pounds five pounds five pounds etc but three pounds forty three pounds forty three pounds forty three pounds forty etc genuine gemstones beautiful coral mother of shell pearl colors shapes textures pops fun fashion timeless elegance three pounds forty per strand what do you think of that price that is brilliant i love that price and you know just i'm looking and i'm just picking colors and i'm going yeah i want to put the coral with the with the sort of almost like the sweetie swirls coming through it i want to put that with the with the um rose quartz and the mother of pearl and those sweetie quartz at the end there oh the quartz at the end these ones yeah oh they also like sugared almonds i always they do they do that's why they? i call them sweeties Sweetie. they do look like sweeties sweeties mm -hmm. you have there's so much you could do here yeah and the thing is don't look at this now and think ah got to mm. use them all together no you don't the website why I oughta give upstairs a phone if you are watching me on the website hello website people and I am sorry it's not me who's messing up the internet we don't know what it is there's just a little glitch in there apparently you can't purchase these at the moment it's weird it seems like the most over-the-top outrageous deals that we've done today you cannot get on online for some reason I know it's frustrating. I do know truly that it's really irritating. But at £3.40, surely it's worth a quick phone call to the call centre. Free phone number if you're calling off a landline, 0800 644 655. It should be working now. If you refresh, try now. XGG C47. I think it's like the third one you've had problems buying. We haven't got a clue what it is. It's not just us. Apparently, it's our sister channels as well that are having a bit of an issue with this. But it is just another manic Monday, so blame that. Um, you've got in here quartz, coral, mother of pearl, and agate. It should be working now. Refresh your page, give it a click, add it to your basket, and check it out. 
it's really, really, you know, I know a lot of you are trying to get this. We've seen loads of messages come in. People have texted in. People have been on Facebook. Everyone's messaging saying they cannot get it at the moment. Hopefully, you should be able to now. It's hopefully just a momentary glitch. It could be anything. It really, really could. Let's reiterate exactly what you're getting in here. Take a little look at all of these for me and I'll run through them for you. You have got yourself blue agate coins, 10 mil. You've got pink poppy quartz hexagons, 10 mil. 45 carats of your poppy agate. 165 carats of the pink colour dyed quartz. You've also got 170 carats of the green coloured quartz. You've got 180 of the neon orange. You've got your watermelon red mother of pearl five mil round. You've also got your white coral in the four mil rounds and you've got your 10 by 10 puffy diagonal drilled squares mother of pearl. 34 pounds and 95 pence if yours is saying that it's not available for shipping or it's not currently available just type the code in again type the code in again press refresh it should be working now so do that now what do you say what are you saying pip if you've managed to check it out let us know Shouldn't it come up if they've managed to check it out? Right, all the people have been messaging on the thing. If you've managed to get it working, or you're still having problems, text us in and let us know when people hopefully sort it out. 60777 is your text code, or just text uh, messages in at jewelrymaker.com. Tina? Tina says it's working now. Thank you very much, Tina, for letting us know. Three pounds and 40 pence. Even if your internet is frustrating you and you're getting to that point where you're like, I really need a brew now, or you're thinking, only half an hour and it's wine o'clock. If you're getting that frustrated, do not worry. That is fine. It should work now. And if it doesn't, just call the call center for three pounds 40, free phone number. Why not? Text, text, text. Uh -uh. Christine in Nottinghamshire. A lot of people from Nottinghamshire today. Isn't that my third Nottinghamshire message? Maybe just me. Hi all, Ben. It would have been lovely if you had your ukulele when serenading us all. Love to all from Christine. Ben, you obviously made a massive impact. Ben is a bit of a cracker on the ukulele, isn't he? Ukule oh, Ben, please will you bring your ukulele in? If you can find it. Ben's just moved into a new place, so he, are you still having trouble uh, finding everything, Ben? Yeah, he's still finding trouble. Tell you what, Ben, are you in on the weekend with me, my love? What about chain mail Sunday? If you can find your ukulele, will you come in and do his little song? Okay. Brilliant. Waterproof mascara for that day. Thank you very much for sending that message in. Get your hands on it now. <laughs> Just another manic Monday. Quartz, coral, mother of pearl, agate, three pounds and 40 pence each. Let's face it, that is a manic price today, isn't it? Huge. I adore when you get huge slabs. And then the spaces are genuine gemstones as well. Have a look. I'm thinking rings, centerpieces of bracelets, pendants, statement pieces. Uh, that name is so apt for this, isn't it? You've got your green aventurine running down the centre here. Irregular slabs all the way to 40 by 28 mil. Fancy Jasper, you've also got here with the 400 carats worth. And then finally, you've got your grey agate, these irregular slabs. Look at some of this spectacular agate. Doesn't that look like a work of art? i show you the clarity. Oh, sorry. Natural. This is so spectacular. Isn't that stunning? It's clear as anything. It's hard to tell, but it, it's got beautiful clarity to it. It's really exceptional. 
you've got these really stunning slabs. Oh my goodness, look at this one. Imagine sea foam you know, when the waves crash. Can you see that? And that's not on the surface, that's internal. You'll be able to, isn't that fab? That's internal. It's like a sea foam. That is gorgeous, isn't it? And then look in the, um, in the Jasper strand. Jasper is said, apparently, uh, that you should be able to see scenic views and also it gives you, it can give you a, a remember, help you remember your past as well, it said about Jasper. And look, you've almost got these scenic views with this, but it's kind of modern art scenery actually, isn't it, with these ones? Sand, <laughs> Ben can see a horse. Um, <laughs> No, you cannot see a horse. Where can you see a horse? Oh, goodness. <sighs> Director Ben's coming out. He wants to explain exactly where he can see his horse. Don't, don't tell a story, just a point. Excuse okay. my nails, please. Okay, they don't worry. horrible. I know, you've got lovely nails. There's the horse's eye. Right. Eye. right. There's his head, the yellow thing there. It's like... See? Does it look like a horse? Yeah. Nay! Oh. Oh. <laughs> yes. Oh. yes! It looked nothing like a horse, does it? <laughs> Director Ben now, Pete, crash in on the horse, please. Show the horse. But isn't that wonderful that you have got, or is, it's now apparently a small guinea pig. Um, isn't it wonderful though that you've got such a, a variety? Let me show it, let's keep moving. Have a look at this one. That's kind of modern arty, isn't it? Can you see these splashes? Sarah, can you see anything in this one? Beautiful, I love the colour combination. Me too. I love that sort of tealy green with those purples coming through. It's just lovely. Do you know what I see in this one? Alice in Wonderland. It's got that feel for it for me. You know the caterpillar who goes, whoo, oh, whoo, like that, and he blows that yeah. smoke. It's got that the wispy effect to it, and then it's got all those crazy, always psychedelic colours, doesn't it? It has, yeah. What does Ben see? A horse, okay. Your price today for these three strands of slabs. It, it, it's funny though, isn't it? You can let your imagination run wild with these. I'm sure you're all seeing different things at home. It's wonderful that genuine gemstones can evoke such imagination. And I'm sure that whatever you're seeing, because for example, I would, as soon as I've seen this, and I'm thinking of Alice in Wonderland, I instantly would think bright neon colours. I would think loads of flowers, loads of quirky enough, maybe even make it kind of quirky and do sort of a Mad Hatter type theme around this with checkered colours and things like that. It just goes to show, doesn't it, that it doesn't matter where your imagination or your inspiration comes from. If it is just the gemstone itself, it can lead you off in all these fantastic directions. For these three strands, endless inspiration, genuine gemstones, £14.95. If inspiration truly is priceless, then £14.95 for genuine gemstones is exceptional. NHGC 50 statement pieces, 400 carats worth Jasper, 360 of Aventurine and 400 carats of Agate. Oh, I've had a text in. I can see the horse and it's running. Go Ben, go. I'm oh, I've got another one. I hope this is more sensible. It does look like a horse. And there is a face in the corner. Oh, God. <laughs> Wait. The face. This Is this the face? <laughs> oh, my goodness. I can see the face now. <laughs> no, genuinely. Genuinely. Oh, my goodness. Well, it's like an ogre's face. Okay, so here. You see, these are his two eyes. Black eye, black eye. He's got like a little jut of hair. And then he's got a really sticky out jaw and then that black line is his mouth and then there's a white patch that's like his nose. It looks like the honey monster. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm still not seeing the horse. 
<laughs> 14 pounds and 95 pence. It's safe to say we could spend all day on these strands, but we shan't. Um, <laughs> NH, juicy, 50. I'm gonna move on before Ben gets more texts in about the horse. <laughs> Where are we going, Pip? I'm moving on. It's over. No. No. Loads of messages have now come in. <laughs> oh, wait. Has Mike seen this? What? Mike, come here a minute. <laughs> Where have you been? Have you been out? Can you see? What can you see? Can you see anything here? Uh, what kind of... What, what, what are you seeing when you look at this? What are you seeing? What, you don't put your talk back in. I don't want him to talk to you. What are you seeing? In this one. <laughs> oh, yeah, come on in! I kind of like her. Um, I can see lots of different colours, lots of different sort of tones in there. Yeah, good. <laughs> Sensible answer. Yeah. Now, remember that you're with this team now, you're with this shift side. So, what yeah. animal can oh, you see in Sorry, this piece? Maybe if you see it on the screen, you'll be able to see a bit clearer. Over here. What animal can you see here? I reckon that's. I don't know, it's like. It's kind of tigery colours. Ooh! It could be any kind of like one of those fish, you know, <laughs> under the sea, you get all the different kinds of fish that are colourful and... <laughs> you, so you could not be more wrong. Oh. It's a horse. Why is it a horse? Well, oh, I don't... I thought you meant colour-wise. No, no, we meant literally. I ruined it. Sorry. No, you didn't. <laughs> you proved my point, Mike. You proved my point that there is no horse there. Oh. And can we have a little look at this bottom corner? Mike, I bet you get this. All right, let's have a look. Okay, what's this? Can you see it now, Pip? Right, if I go, what does he say? What does he say? Oh! oh it is. He, what does that look like? The honey monster. It does look like the honey monster, doesn't it? Or, I did, or the Muppet, but it'd be a different colour. That one that comes out with, with the drums. Animal. Animal, animal, yeah. This is such a brilliant game. <laughs> there are loads of you buying this. I blame Ben for this entire segment now. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing to do with me. £14.95 pence. <laughs> NHGC, 50, she code on that. Oh, I lied to this a lot. This is your doppelganger. You're getting two for a quacking price. You truly are. I've seen the price on this. It's amazing. Of course it is. It's jewellery maker. It's genuine gemstones. It's your Iolites. Have a look. Really beautiful, clear, chrismic gemstone. Used by the Vikings for navigation and then in more recent times, um, a gemologist who also used to fly planes was said to have tested out the kind of compass uh, abilities of this gemstone and therefore covered up his own compass in his aeroplane and apparently it worked perfectly because of the clear uh, preoclism you can actually work out exactly where you are and he was able to uh, set off get to where he needed absolutely fine purely due to the way that the light enters and the gemstone itself changes color i love that these have got that uh, you know really natural almost straight out of the ground look about them my graphics have gone off the screen i'm sure they will be coming back in a moment just let everyone know at home do not worry They've got a really natural, organic feel to them. What do you think when you look at nuggets like this, Sarah? Do you know, I really like using them because they've got that, that natural feel that people can see that they're a gemstone. Yeah. They, you don't have to sort of explain that they've been, um, you know, if, if they've been uh, faceted and things, people might not think that they're a real gemstone. Mm. These, there's no explaining needed. You can see the natural beauty. You can that natural feel to them, that real organic, straight out the ground almost mm, feel. Mm. Although they have been processed to give you those nice smooth, smoother, smoother edges, so you've got no sharp points on them and things like that. Mm. So they're just brilliant. I love using them. I love the way that they just sit beautifully together as well. They do actually. They kind of interlink almost, don't they? They do. Yeah, they find their best position on the strand mm. and just sort of sit next to each other. As A bit like those uh, coral peanuts. Yes. They kind of interlink yeah. a bit. So you get loads on the strand as well. Mm. And they've got really big impact as well. Yeah, they are impactful. Yeah. Doppelganger, the price for both. It's just £9.95 for both of these today. Again, if I was to do one slightly shorter than the other, obviously they're the same strand, so they're, they're the same length. But 
I'd love these with silver spaces just to highlight the blue because these are of course very very rich almost denim blue that you have to these so I think that would just highlight it wouldn't it with the silver it would yeah just really going for the silver give you lots of light lots of texture mm. lots of focal points on there and it'll just really lift the natural color that you've got there and just bring that light in between the gemstones totally yeah pow yeah pow effect <laughs> YD GC67 doppelganger for £9.95 pence, both of them. So working out, well, less than a five or a strand for genuine gemstones, cannot say fairer. In fact, we've had loads of cheeky prices on today, actually, haven't we? Love that. You should go on your holidays more often, Pip. Two days he was off work, he's come back refreshed. You're off again this weekend, aren't you? Part-timer. £9.95. <laughs> pence. Where are you off again? You're off on holiday again. It's his birthday party. Whole weekend party. How long did you, how old did you turn this birthday? 28 this year, Pip turns. Oh, <laughs> He's crying in the gallery. <laughs> You're still a youngster, Pip, 28. Bless I'll it. wait till you get to my age. <laughs> Wait till you get to 29, says Sarah. <laughs> oh, I wish, I wish. <laughs> £9.95 for you today. On my tea bar, I've got a treat. Obviously, I have. Now, um, these are the drops, aren't they? <gasps> Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, they're pretty. Ooh. Ooh, they're gorgeous. They are, aren't they? Yeah. My favourite fact about this gemstone is it was first described in Chester, Ooh. Connecticut, USA. <laughs> <laughs> Not up north. <laughs> Still my favourite fact. This is your silmanite. Silmanite. It's 70 carats worth coated, graduated plain drop brand new strand i think i've only shown you uh, this gemstone actually twice this being the second time that i can properly remember it was first described in 1824 so as gemstone goes realistically a relatively new one mm, actually very new. As, as gemstones themselves go it was first described in the usa connecticut a little place called chester Bet it hasn't got a Roman wall though, has it? <laughs> <laughs> 70 carats worth. What would you think of doing with this strand, Sarah? Oh, you know, this strand would just lend itself to be used with some little seed beads in between, I think. Just some, um, I had some black agate two mil seed beads just in between. And I just think if you loop them over the top as well, just to create like a little loop over the top of each of those um, points at the top of the gemstone, just to create that sort of lace effect around the neckline. I just think those would look lovely. Oh, I think that will look beautiful. Mm. Because again, working the monochrome. Yes. Again. Again. You can't go wrong with monochrome, really. I mean, you know, a lot of it, you can change it in a lot of ways. You can make it sort of monochrome. You could do, use, use a pop of colour and just go for that sort of tone underneath. Just go for having this as your base tone and then just using something like a smoky quartz or um, maybe a tiger's eye or something like that just to add that little sort of, that sort of monochrome but on a, on a, warm warm tone i love that i love that mm. and the coating on this i'm just looking as well it's so subtle it really is but it's it's almost got um i had to describe it it's it's almost the glittery shimmer it's kind of wet look isn't it it's uh oh it, it does it just looks like it's really highly polished actually it truly does. Pinks, silvers, blues in there. Up to 10 mil, these ones. Now, I cannot, I'll be honest, cannot remember the price of this. So, surprise me. How much? Oh, that's cracking. Your price today, £14.95. Considering especially that I very rarely see this. I want to see this on the neckline. Oh, yeah. Heaven. That's my impression of dancing, apparently. Um, £14.95. If I pop this on, 
I'd really, again, charm drops. Do you know what I always think with drops, I've got to say? I ran out of drops very recently. I, I got some the other day, but I did run out of drops. And I felt so frustrated. Rounds, rondelles, you know, even the cubes and things like that. If I've got loads of them, and even if I haven't got maybe the rounds that I wanted, I can kind of take its place with a rondelle, can't I? But drops, if you need a drop, you need it, don't you? How often do you see this gemstone, Sarah? Uh, very, very rarely. I don't think I've ever seen it actually on the show before. So there you go, that's very rare. Yeah. Yeah. I've only seen it once, this old gemstone. Yeah. And it's, it's lovely. It's mm. just got a real, it's almost got a, a sort of a snow white colour. It's not sort of a really crisp white. It's sort of just really mellow and really easy to use. It's gorgeous. It really is, isn't yeah. it? It is beautiful. It's got such a wonderful effect to them. And again, let's see what else we can mix it with. We can mix it with... Hmm. Oh, I love this. This is the uh, watermelon shell that we had in the bundle. And, of course, it will go beautifully with... I'm going to head over to you now with the shell that I brought to you. I'm going to bring them with me actually. Get your hands on that strand. If you, like me, haven't seen it before, now's your chance to purchase it. £14.95 for you today. Now I'm bringing back your bundle. You have made a lot. <laughs> yes! <laughs> You've done the thing that I've been wanting to do for ages with my square gems. Make them little squares. You've it's made nice. the little tile mosaic effect. I did. Aren't they funky? And then look at the side, these little seed beads. Yeah. Now these are coming up on your screen now, just before I show you the rest, because there's one you just have to keep your eye on. <laughs> um, just to remind you, because I know last time you had issues buying it on the internet, so you can repurchase it now, definitely. You've got the rice shell beads, mother of pearl shell beads, these are your rice beads, 10 by 7. You've also got the diamonds, which is what uh, lovely Sarah has used to create that mosaic effect. And these uh, squares are 10 mil. Look at that mother of pearl effect. Mm. <gasps> Honestly, little delicate bursts of green, blue and everything. You're going to fall in love, I'm sure. And then finally, these ovals, oh, they're extended ovals really, aren't they? They are. 20 by 10 mil, it's a dramatic size on these. All really lengthy, lengthy strands, all work beautifully together. Now you see them in a really simple drop. Now let's see them working together beautifully on this one over here. Wow, isn't that Totally wearable, beautiful. Again, Sarah, working with the movement. Yeah, and I, I just love that. I started off as a bracelet, but I changed my mind. <laughs> <laughs> I just went for it. Yep, it started off as a, as a ladder weave bracelet, and I just thought, no, actually, that drop really lends itself to all of those beautiful dresses at this time of year. You know, hopefully the warmer weather's coming. We're going to start getting those maxi dresses out again, and I just thought that line just perfect for any of those outfits. I think you're completely right. And then finally, the one that just stands out. You even said earlier that when you were making it, people in the gallery were staring. <laughs> <laughs> Look at these flowers with the dragonfly. Talk to me about this, Sarah. It kind of evolved. It started off, I just made the little dragonfly with the green wire, and I thought, well, what am I going to do with the dragonfly? And then I thought, well, I'll make some flowers and then I wasn't quite sure what to do so then I twisted the green and the pale pink wire together and made that base mm -hmm. and it just evolved from there so it just all sat on top of that base which is um, four pieces of wire um, with the wire twister tool twisted together I just think it's mesmerizing oh, it's you. fantastical it's fairy tale it's fantasy it's a bit of fun, isn't it? I it love is. it. I just love the fact that you can create a piece of artwork and you can wear it. And it's something that nobody else would have. 
and I don't mind the fact that it's really organic and it's not symmetrical and things like that because it's it is what it's supposed to be I mean I can see that if you wanted to make it a maybe a slightly smaller version and making it a really nice brooch yeah for, for a winter coat just change the colour tones, change it to maybe, um, you know, something like an antique bronze and a copper wire base and, you know, just change those colour tones and change the centres of the flowers to a different tone. Wonderful idea. Hat pin as well, you know, you yeah. get the beanie hats in yes. winter. Yes, yes. It would look lovely. Just even if you wanted to just put a couple of flowers on there, you know, it just would look lovely. I adore the idea of that. Now, it's a tricky question, but you know I'm going to ask you, how yes. much would you sell this one for over here? Well, I mean, I'd, I'd say at least fifteen pounds. Yeah, because it, you know, it's got a lot of gemstones in there. It's not, you know, not got huge amounts of work, but it's got a lot of gemstones. It's the sort of thing that you, if you look on the high street and you go into your accessory type shops, you know, you go into your department stores, they're selling this sort of jewellery, and you wouldn't get change out of fifteen mm -hmm. pounds. I can guarantee. So if you're selling it for fifteen pounds, you've got that market. Definitely have. And the earrings as well, if we look at the earrings, because I was just yeah. thinking then, I know a lot of the time, well, it depends how much you want to charge yeah. for your earrings, yeah. but even if we just said five pounds each, definitely, which yeah. is a safe bet, isn't it? It is, yes. Y even just selling these two at five pounds each, yeah. using one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve of these shells, yep. you've made your money back and I can on make the whole kit. Well, at least another two pairs of those mosaic earrings. I could still make those. I love them. Sarah, <laughs> you're an absolute love as always. Thank you you're so much for welcome. today. When are you next back with us? I am back on um, Wednesday on The Late Show. Oh, lovely, yes. jubbly. Yes. Well, thank you so much for all of your inspiration oh, today. It's been a real treat. Tomorrow, I am joined by the wonderful Sheila for some more designer inspirations and some real treats. And coming up, don't forget, I said before, The Late Show, Beadloom, that's coming up for you after this short break. Enjoy your evening, everyone. Bye. Jewelry Maker ships to the following countries. We offer two delivery services, standard and premium. So wherever you are in the world, Jewelry Maker are never far away. The Jewelry Maker Wall of Fame is where you get to showcase your skills as a jewelry designer. Each week, one lucky entrant will win £100 credited to their account and the runner-up receives £50. If you want to enter your design, just send a photo to studio at jewelrymaker.com or you can post your photos to Wall of Fame, The Genuine Gemstone Company, Unit 2-1.